All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. We have another uh, Age of Empires 4 tournament. Tonight is going to be a Team FFA tournament. So myself and Gunhound going to be coming back to uh, try and get vengeance for last time. And uh, yeah, you can see the rest of our pod here. We have several other pods. How are we looking, man? Everybody uh, about good to go? Yeah, I think the uh, pretty much all but one pod is ready to roll. Sounds good, man. Take your time. Let me know when they're. Uh, we'll get them started, and then we can uh, we can start we can start up our uh, our game. So, Gunhound is looking to play Mongols. Mongols are pretty cool. Tonight's tournament is Nomad Mega Random. So, Nomad mode. What that is is you essentially start with only three workers randomly split all over the map. So, I don't know. Are we doing teams together? Like, will the? I guess probably not. Right. Yeah. I honestly don't know how that works. How that works, works yeah, because Nomad is concerned. It should just scatter them all over the map. And yeah, we'll want to make like a consolidated effort to get close for sure. But we have two English players, two French players, a Chinese and an Ottoman. Very those are probably, I would say, some of the strongest factions in um in FFA. English for obvious reasons, but Ottoman trade is like can make them one of the strongest factions in the entire game. Um French obviously, you know. Guildhall, Wonders, Mass Cavalry, what's not to love? And then, of course, the Chinese, we don't need to explain. They have, like, 100 landmarks, really good eco. Yeah, it's going to be crazy, man. Mongols. Mongols, double Mongol seems like it could be pretty good. Yeah, but then we don't get any walls on our Civ, right? I was about to say, then we have no walls. Yeah, then we're just we're just really in the pits as it pertains to the walls. Ain't no treaties in the tournament. Are they talking about treaties? Yeah, I'm down to the war. Yeah, I mean, you know, you make like temporary treaties when you have to deal with like a wonder or something like that. Or if there's somebody who's way stronger than everyone, yeah, you should team up on them for sure. Like if they well, uh, they get to that uh, point. What, what they're discussing is that you actually, um, you can get treaties like to start at the beginning of the game. Okay. And it just it won't allow you to attack anybody. Uh, it's a nomad setting oh seriously uh, you set the three or five so that way you know because just so you don't get villager sniped you know right at the beginning. oh okay got it but we were doing some testing with it before and um there's a glitch with it and that glitch is that it allows even after the treaty ends the enemy to see all of your pings and your team chat oh wow okay that would actually be kind of funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> just getting so, the, uh, the inside info yeah I, I think we're we. It was the originally the plan to do that, but I think we're gonna uh, not not do that. You know what the biggest like the most savage team comp would be? Double English, okay? And then you get you oh. get the six villagers with bows, and you just go hunting for like people's villagers oh, <laughs> in the God. beginning. That'd be really funny. Holy Wipe shit. a team right at the beginning. Yeah, if you got lucky, because it would take you a moment. But yeah, like if someone's microing well, they will always be able to get away. But you could definitely really disrupt somebody. Um, and, and I'm honestly not sure what would happen because it is a team game so you don't get eliminated until your your partner's eliminated but what if they kill all three of your villagers before you can make a TC you just gotta you just gotta sit and watch dude yeah I guess you're you're in it but yeah not really not really you're you're in the uh in the limbo there yes we got two English okay wait is that a double English team no the the teams are I'm gonna play Malians I think and then we have you on Mongols. Uh, Malians, we could do some cool trade stuff too. Because you have Silver Tree and I have the uh, trade outpost that starts with two traders. So we could do something with that pretty quickly. And I can just, you know, when we decide to build a wonder somewhere, I can just, we don't even have to worry about putting a landmark there. I can just pack one up and put it. Where yeah, it you'll be our wonder guy for sure. You'll be the wonder wall, dude. Yeah. So we got English and French on one team. We got Ottomans and French, which... Could be pretty strong trade if we see like Chamber of Commerce plus the uh, plus the Ottoman trading tech with the Seagate Castle and the movement speed, and the money coming in, dude. Ottoman trade is gross, so we really got to watch out for that. And you're going to be going cavalry, I'm guessing, or at least some mobility. So we really need to make sure the Ottoman trade machine doesn't get going. It's uh, really really strong. Uh, Romain, oh, I I think the Ottomans are really fun. I actually really like the Civ. I just haven't practiced them at all. I I don't have their mechanics down really well. And I want to play a sieve that I'm pretty comfortable playing. But yeah, I really like the Ottomans. They're they're a cool sieve. Very strong trade. It's insane. Jacques says his game crashed. Oh no. Hopefully he'll be back. Looks like I better ready up. Okay. Let's see if he's here. It looks like he's here. Maybe that message is old. But we're gonna be starting in a minute. Yes. Welcome to the stream, everyone. How y'all doing? 
Oh yeah, we have no Abbasid. Yeah, there's not any Abbasid in here. What do Abbasid do really well? I guess they, they have good trade. They have good eco with the 2TC and the farming infrastructure, but having only two landmarks two sucks. Landmarks. Yeah, it really sucks, yeah. dude. It really sucks. All right, so he'll be right back. He's, he said his game crashed and he's just going to be getting back in here. How is Turn liking Malian trade? Malian trade is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good because you start with two traders right away. So, but we're on Mega Random. Like, we don't know where he's going to be. I don't know. You know, we, we just have to kind of wing it. And again, we could have somebody between us because everybody's just randomly spreading out and trying to get a good location, right? So it's it's just anarchy. So how many pods do we have tonight, brother? We got a bunch? Uh, we've got four. Um, four pods? But it's four, you know, yeah. four rad teams. So, I mean, or two man teams. So that's eight players per. Got it. Got it. Okay. That was that was many as I could do. No, that's good. Having, so I mean, dude, like a third round, one pod. Yeah, we could have. So the grand finals will be four uh, four teams, correct? We'll have one winner from each. Yep. Cool. So it'll be a two v two v two v two, just like this. Yeah, that's outstanding, dude. Great work. Uh, could you increase the volume on him? Yeah. Let me. I can turn you up manually. We were talking about this before the stream. People are saying you're quiet. Uh, Hopefully, it at least sounds clearer than last time. It sounds really good. Okay, say Thumbs something up. now something i turned him up by 10 percent. let me know if that's adequate guys and we can uh, we can do it people always pick corners well yeah it's it's the best play are we gonna start max is max is getting impatient in chat dude he's he wants blood <laughs> yes, I'll, yes. I'll, I'll i'll type to him yes we are just organizing other pods then we will start stand by eta five minutes you can still type fast didn't do too much today got the rest of the old hands so you were saying there was a couple of people who didn't show up to the other pods? Yeah, the uh, Zalami and his teammate. The, the two con Dark Lord Conquerors didn't show up? Yep, but thankfully Can we you have backup believe team it? waiting in the wings, so they're going to slide in and take their spot. I mean, it's 10 after 9. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Well, for you, what is it, like 8 or 9 p.m.? Because you're... Uh, 9 p.m. Yeah, yeah, so you're, you're east, east time, yeah. Yeah, this is great, man. We got our, uh, I'm sure, the Australia. How many of you guys in chat are from Australia? Do we have a lot, of, a lot of Australians joining on this time zone? Hopefully it's a little bit better for you guys than usual. Yeah, we're going to try and find a comfortable corner. Why are they called pods? That's just, it's kind of like a, like a group. It's just common terminology for describing groups of, you know, in, you know, in gaming or sports or whatever. I imagine we'll see Prof Pwn. I was talking to him earlier today. We were playing a little Total War. He, he cannot be bothered to play this game. I don't know why. Like, he likes Warcraft 3, but Age is... The constant villager macro and, like, the the scope of macro in this game is pretty colossal. So it is different than, like, a Warcraft 3 game where you're managing, like, maybe 10 units at once. You know? You're Japanese. Oh, cool. Uh, let me see. I remember a little bit of Japanese. Hajimemashite. Hajimemashite. Genki desu ka? Boku no nemae wa turin desu. Yes. Sugoshi nihongo o hanashimasu. What time is it there? Oh, I don't, I'm not sure what time it is in Japan. Texas, right on, right on. How you doing, Andy? Swiss, all right, cool. I have some Swiss ancestry myself. Yeah, I'm surprised Japan hasn't been added yet. I'm surprised. Give Gunhound another 7%, sounds good. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. 7% at a time. Cool, it's done. It's done, Misha. Woohoo. The die is cast. Outstanding. <laughs> Sugoi. <laughs> I studied Japanese for four years in high school, but this was back when the wheel was invented. You know, this was like 2002, 2003. Speaking of that old Japanese. Yeah, it was It was, It was. was a fun language. Yeah, it was fun. I, I just can't, like, when it comes to, like, romance languages and, you know, languages where you have to, like, roll an R, I, the game already. I just can't do it. I just can't. I'm terrible. Hey, welcome to the stream. Yes, it's going to be good. You did good. Thank you, Yano. I, I do appreciate that. Yeah, I, I think I am I, weak. Please don't kill me. I got to get my soundboard up. I had I had a How I started preparing it to today. Me? Yeah, I love all these things, man. There's over there's like a hundred of those emotes, which is pretty wild. From Lebanon, ah, oh, cool, man. We got we got people from all over the world here. Some different time zones. So we're what? We're red and yellow. We're like the McDonald's team here. Let's go for a <laughs> conquest victory. Works for me. Yeah. You played two hours to die like this? I've had that one, the one that Beast271 just did. I've had people do that against me after I lose long games. Yeah, that's 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 one that I run into. People are excited to backstab. 
Yeah, I, I mean, you always got to expect the backstab, for sure. I'm capturing a secret site. <laughs> I love how monotone those are. Like, all of the uh, announcements. Like, you can just tell they're just developers who probably didn't want to be doing that. Wait, you forgot to say, uh, those are your... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, those are Yoroshiku. Yeah. I vaguely remember that. Vaguely. Let's see. Yeah, man, I, I used to... I should get back into studying a little bit of Japanese. I feel like I could pick it up again quick. Like, Japanese language is, um... Honestly, yeah, it wasn't too bad. The hiragana was pretty straightforward, katakana, but when it, when it came to learning kanji, dude, oh my god, I couldn't stand that. That's like the really, like, advanced kind of, uh... Yeah, alphabet there was brutal. Any plans to go to LVO? When is LVO? Yeah. I don't know, isn't that coming up? You don't play any tabletop games, do you? You're gonna get... Me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, um... You're gonna I, give I, in eventually? Just embrace I it? about it. Yeah. I, the, trust me, if anything was gonna get me to do it, it's the Lord of the Rings one. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I just wanna buy the, you know, just buy the minis just for the sake of minis. Yeah, um, they're cool. What would you, which ones would you buy? Like, would you, would you play, like, with the Ring Wraiths and the Nazgul and, or would you play, like, you know, the, the Fellowship? Because you can play, like, that's actually kind of a, in that game, I believe that's a sub-faction. Like, you can straight up just roll into a, a field battle with, like, the Fellowship and a couple other units. It's pretty cool. Attack uh, the yellow player. Oh, okay. Um, no, personally for me, it would be Gondor. Gondor, Gondor. yeah. Attack the green player. I'm gonna pull those up real quick. We can we can take a look at those. Yeah, G Gondor. Uh, the models are pretty cool. The, the ring race are super easy to paint. Like the Nazgul, they're like just like the easiest thing in the world to paint. Cause you just spray paint them Attack black the and dry brush, player. and you're like you're good to go. You're done. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, they oh they just released some new models for it actually. Yeah, I'm on the I'm on the GW website. They kind of look they look very very much like the old fashioned like fantasy models. It has that like kind of. They never modernized them, really. Yeah, here you go, guys. You can see these. Are, this is the Games Workshop um, Middle Earth battle strategy battle game. Yeah, that Gandalf model is pretty good, though. Yeah, you can see the Orkai scouts. And here's here's the Fellowship. Oh my God! Look at Gandalf's eyes in this picture, dude. Oh my God! You got the Samwise Gamgee with the frying pan. You got Be Gimli. Rushed. Oh my God! That screech. That was that was a straight up jump scare. Yeah, and here's the warriors of uh, Minas Tirith here. Yeah, these guys are pretty cool. These would be super easy to paint too. You literally just spray paint these guys silver, and then you could just being rushed. <laughs> you could just do that. All right, let's switch on back. Hey, Conrad, thank you. <laughs> the, the, the apricot face orc. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's pretty great. God, is there any way to squelch those emojis or those like notifications? <laughs> yeah, I wish. There's gotta be a way to do it to mute them. I'm sure there's probably a setting to like just mute them completely. Yeah, we, we gotta figure that out. Those minis are cool though. It's it's a really fun game. Um, I played it once. It's really simple. It's way easier to pick up, I think, than like Warhammer 40k and all those different things like that. How do you participate in your FFAs? You just join our Discord, which you can do by going to Total Tavern, and you can join there. Or you can uh, totaltavern.com. You go to the Discord link in the top right, or you can have one of our mods here drop a link as well. So. Yeah, LVO, I, I might go to it. I haven't thought about it, Matt. I've wanted to go for years. I do have a Death Guard army that I could show up with. That would be pretty fun. You can't mute us, Turin. Apparently not. Oh, we're starting. Okay. It's showtime, man. What are we doing? Who are we killing first? Who is spamming that annoying emoji? We have to go after them first. That was... <laughs> that has to be the... Yeah, that's put a, put a target on his back. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll 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 play we'll play correctly here, hopefully. Yeah, we'll play correctly. So English are a problem. Chinese, I mean, dude, there's no Civ here that's like bad, right? Like you and I are probably playing the worst Civs here for FFA, or I probably am. I think the Malians of all the Civs here are probably one of the weaker ones. Still not bad though with the trade. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. If we can get trade set up, we're gonna be doing. We're going to be doing good. I want to do some fast castle action and get get a little crazy. But yeah, we obviously we should both establish trade immediately. Like you're going to go silver tree, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sweet, sweet. So we should, we should be all set there. 
Oh, I, I'm actually going to be able to get gold pretty quickly too. Yeah. Well, how much wood do you start with? You start with enough for a TC and a little bit of extra. So an ore pit, I think I could get one that'd be get me some gold pretty quick. See, some sieves like Mongols and HRE actually are a little bit of a nerf when yeah. they come um, when they come into to this because they don't get like I don't get a a, a prelate to start off with. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, the prelates aren't there for the HRE. I don't get the con until after yeah. everything is built. So there's a couple of sieves that are actually get a little bit of a nerf by playing Nomad. Yeah. Um, there is an option in Nomad to cut those on. Uh, but then it, it becomes like an extra big boost because as soon as you build your first TC, you're automatically given all of those. Things. Yeah, yeah, that's um, interesting, man. I, yeah, I didn't even think about that. I was almost going to play HRE tonight, but it's a good thing you uh, warned me off that. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's a there's definitely some nomad like little tweaks there at the beginning that you, if you don't think about it beforehand, yeah. you end up screwing yourself. No, no kidding, man. Yeah, I I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like lately, like I've been playing a lot of Holy Romans and team game in one v one, it's fine, but. In like FFAs, I kind of feel like I get outclassed by some of these other civs. Like even with relics, I just feel like I get outproduced, and I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe it's it just because slowly like nerfing relics. Yeah, you know. yeah. Because they're only eighty gold now. Well, they they nerfed the Regnet's Cathedral a while back, and then they nerfed they nerfed the um, relics themselves down. I think what a twenty percent nerf on relics. So yeah, it's a pretty substantial hit to HRE. Yeah, Nomad's really fun. We got to find each other here. This is going to be. All right, this is like the jump scare part. So let's just like immediately survey the map and, and see where we want to spawn. Okay, so um, you got two guys north. Okay, let's go north. That like top right corner, let's go up there. I only have one worker there, but I'm gonna run my other ones. Oh God, I spawned next to a wolf, it's attacking me. Oh my God, is this, bro, I think this is an island, is it? Hang on. Okay, I have a really good spawn, holy shit. You said, look at this hill I got. There's like <laughs> there's like deer woods and a gold vein right next to it. Hi. Holy shit. Dude, look at my spot on I'm like the king of the hill here, bro. Oh yeah. I don't know if I can get back there. Uh just somewhere close by, dude. Yeah. I mean I'm just gonna have to build it here. Dude, what's yeah, you just build there, that's fine. Dude, what the hell is this spawn? Wait, am I gonna be able to get anyone else back here? I don't know. Oh my god, I might have just preemptively put myself on an island, which I guess we just go for wonder, <laughs> if that's the case. Oh my god, I got Menace Tirith, but I, guys, I think this is a water map. They said, oh my god, are people complaining about treaties? <laughs> but yeah, there's, dude, there's, I think there's a, like, water. I think I might be on an island up there, I'm not sure. Because it, it, it looks enclosed. Oh god, this is going to be so bad. I think you might be... Blocked in by trees. I yeah. Think that they, like, you can physically get back there. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to be on your own. You're going to have to be a, a true nomad, bro. Well, they can't kill me because they can't get to you. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Guys, I think I'm legit trapped up here. Like, I'm in, like, a, a dungeon. Oh, God. That looked like such a good spot, though, to be fair. Well, we found one of the sacred sites. Okay, guys. I legit think I can't get here. I think there's no way. <laughs> I'm gonna just by myself up here. We do have a corner though, which is good. Like we got a nice, comfortable corner. So, and you know, you have other villagers out here, so they can work on building things out here. Yeah, they can. Okay, I'm trying to get up. Let's see my villagers pathing. Okay, okay, this looks promising. Come on, baby, you can make it. Come on, maybe, maybe. He's working. He's he's working for it. This is, this is a, oh, dude, there's a path. Look, there's like a, a forest path. Oh, yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. There's literally like a forest choke point to get to my little Helm's Deep in the corner. Wow, dude, this is like a god tier spot. All right, okay. Okay. Is there already some haggard drama in this game? Like, apparently. <laughs> well, I wanted this area. I mean, yeah, they're allowed to attack each other right away, right? Yeah, I mean, we decided, but I think Beast was the one complaining about not having treaty, and then said, well, we'll just do a general treaty, and then... he There was some betrayal, got it, okay. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> there we go. 
Oh my god, bro. Look at this island situation here. <laughs> I literally just have this like paradise in the corner of the map. I love it at the Lauren, yeah. No kidding, man. Got like all these trees nearby. Oh my god, this is hilarious, dude. Are you seeing the glory that is my base here? Yeah. It, um, <laughs> that is something special, Darren. Yeah, it's that pretty good. Special. good you got a massive stone. Yeah, we got stone, but like water down there too is very viable. I have some deep water fish. See, they. what's really good is the other players in this game already have like a bit of a blood feud with one another. Exactly. Yeah, so like it works out pretty great for us, right? Excellent. Oh, dude, yeah. I can fit a couple houses around the ore pit. But not too many. It, it's certainly not the best for that, but um, it's still, the position is worth it, 100%. I have no idea how we're gonna do trade on this. Oh, uh, it, it won't be too bad. Yeah, I'll find a way. Let's just, uh, okay, so I can set up a house here. Yeah, I get a couple houses, and eventually I'll be able to get some, but. Yeah, Nomad's pretty great, man. So maybe, um, well, you could just build your silver tree, because you can move your trade post, right? Yeah, so we're, we're chilling there. All right, team. We're going to switch over to shoreline fishing, and it's one of our food sources here in a minute. The Great Khan. Is he going to go explore? Yep. Oh, plenty of sheep out here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even building a scout yet. I probably should. Sheep are still useful, for sure. Okay, so life is good. Yeah, fat stone deposit. It's pretty nice. We want to go 2TC or anything. Um, totally an option. The con's going to do... I'm surprised we didn't encounter anyone else when we were scouting there. Okay. So, dude, I think there's legit no other way onto my little island here. This, this is the only path outside of playing water, which is hilarious. I had one blue villager show up. Blue, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go explore here and see what's going on. Fully, fully uh, get the lay of the land. Okay, so now we can start focusing on wood pretty heavily. And we can just tech up. Got a couple sheep around the island. Okay, so maybe... Um, yeah, depending on how our scouting goes... Okay, there is another way in out around this way. They can get to my little island, which is pretty hilarious. We have the old uh, deer going. Send a couple sheep up here as well. Let's do this. Put them right here. Move you guys down there. Yeah, tunes, stone deposits are okay. They're not like super clutch or anything, but it doesn't hurt. Yeah, unfortunately, that's as good as that ore pit's gonna get. Oh, dude, look who's right next to us. Look. Oh, he set up right next. You seeing it? Oh my yeah. God, he's here. Okay. Well, well, uh, you know, we know where we we might have to go first. Unfor I mean, that's really close, guys. That's really yeah, close. That, that's incredibly close. Yeah, that's like you know, that's pretty serious. All right. Wait, that was the villager that I almost killed. So he knew we were here. Maybe he, you know, he didn't like see for sure where we set up. But yeah, he's he's got to be privy to it. All right, guys, let's get some more of this going. We'll be teching up soon. We'll keep exploring. His ally must be close nearby. What? What civ is he? He's French. Okay, so we could we could get French knighted. There could be some French knights trolling about. Let's set up some walls there just to make sure. <laughs> they have to go through Gunhound to get to me. He's like the the warden in the north there. So it looks like there's a couple big bodies of water here, dude. Oh, we got Teal. Yeah, I got Teal there. Okay, that they must be a team, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I literally have like no space to build my landmarks. I'm gonna have to like Yeah, this is super janky. So you could set up your trade on the, um, like, over here, maybe. Yeah, that was kind of where I was thinking. Yeah, that's what you are thinking. Sounds good. Look, look, Blue's walling off, too. He knows. He knows, dude. The boy knows. Okay, so yeah, there's, like, this whole area is pretty safe over here, actually. Oh, hello. Got a little bit crazy there. All right, so let's grab some of you guys. would not be too bad to maybe, like, wall off from that water like up north to us. Yeah. Just to like, that way we can put the trade behind the wall. I'm setting up my trade right here. My trade post is gonna be go right there. I, I really don't have too much like space. Like I just have to have to squeeze it there. 
Just super janky dudes. You want to join these? You just got to join our Discord and sign up. Anyone's welcome, dude. Anyone's welcome. Yep, been taking team signups for roughly about a week for yeah. this one. Uh, usually it's at least three or four days in advance that I put them there. And uh, we're kind of limited on space with these just for the yeah. format of the teams. But normally, I mean, we can have upwards of, you know, a maximum of 64 players in a tournament if we wanted. So, I mean, yeah. everybody's welcome. Come on. Yeah, come join the party, man. Okay, so I got fishing in the corner, which is going to be pretty damn strong. Other people are reaching feudal age. Let's go set up an ore pit here. We got the boats coming out. Um, what is that other player right next to you? He's getting stone, which means he's doing probably two TC. Uh, Teal of uh, Ottomans, I think. Ottomans. Okay, so they're the they're the the trade the trade threat potentially. We'll have to keep tabs on him. And you're setting up your silver tree. Shortly, I would imagine. Okay, we can start building houses here because it's going to go down there anyways. One, two, three. Not the best ore pits, guys, but you know, you can't you can't choose everything. Sometimes you got to pay the troll toll a little bit. Hmm. Okay, house coming up. Good. Give me that next age. Probably going to do mostly cavalry at first. Has the has the great con discovered? Oh yeah, that's right. No, I'm not. I'm not the. Okay, this is the Saharan Trade Network. Yeah, and then I need to build a marketplace here. There we go. Okay. And then we go past the Saharan Trade Network. That's how we do it. Okay, I got them confused with the Ottomans for a second. Okay. Got to the next age here. Hitting the lumber pretty darn hard. That was a very raspy voice on that character there. All right, so let's get our pit. Get that gold going. Have we been scouted by anyone else? Uh, no, I think it's just those two that were right there next to us. They're just kind of chilling and keeping an eye on us, huh? Yeah, they, uh, I mean, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure either, either that villager, they had already built over there and he happened to come by here, or they knew what they were doing. There's for sure, the, I would wager they're going to get aggressive, 100%. They're gonna they're gonna go for the kill right away. Okay, I found someone else. I found the Green Empire to the south. So it looks like we really just have these like very close neighbors, and aside from that, that's just who we need to take out here. So I'm gonna set up my infrastructure over here. Start getting a little bit of that. Looks good. Can't fit any more houses there. And cool. Alright, so let's get you. Build that up. Gold pits going like champs. How you looking over there? You good coming up to the next age? So when you finish that bad boy? Oh, oh, okay. I found someone else too. Pink's in the other corner. Yeah, he he garrison his bills to kill my guy. Okay, so pink and green are their teammates. So they're they're down there. Yeah. So purple and orange are the only ones we don't know. But purple and orange apparently have half the map to themselves. Hmm. Okay. It's gonna yeah, get a little get a little wild over here. Because <laughs> yeah. that that could definitely allow for some pretty massive trade. Yeah, no kidding. So silver tree, let's get that bad boy like right in this corner, maybe. I don't know. We can't like maybe like here would be the best spot. And then you can my trade post is up in my base, like right behind my TC. Well, I put it in that corner just so that way I don't have to worry about any ships rolling up on it. Sure. Know, they built uh, something out there. Oh, there's oranges. Sounds good, my dude. Okay, looking good. Get a little bit of this going. So I'm going to just go to Castle Age now. Okay, I see it. Is he, is he attacking you? Apparently. You're going to send the Khan out there to show him his boss yeah. or what? Yeah. yeah. The Khan's had enough of these games. All right, guys. It is time maybe for a little bit of this. Just gonna make some of these guys. Although ah, Castle just seems so much better. Seems so much better. Can you uh, send your con over? Actually, yeah, you got to deal with that guy first. But um, and do and see what's going on with Teal and his homeboy over there. All right, he, he pieced out. He did. I think he realized he couldn't really burn it down. 
Oh my um, god, dude. I have no room to build landmarks here. This is so bad. Is that Aaron trade network for you? Yeah, it's it's a, I have it in the back of my base. It'll it'll tell your traders as they head to my trade post. Okay, cool. And let's get this and then sell a little bit of this. Got some traders coming down. And it's almost time for Gotham's Reckoning. There'll there'll be a reckoning soon. So I'm gonna get pretty aggressive when Castle Age comes around. Join me if you can. Okay. Um, but I think we have to kill our neighbors. <laughs> this is just a casual statement there. They need to go. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to kill our neighbors. Yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna have to be the case, man. The fact that I have this like little private like water node back here is so strong, dude. Oh my god. Could let them live slightly longer so they can grab relics for us. Okay, let's get you guys doing this. Turn in, do that. Get the boat's going. Yeah, I see your trader coming. Yeah, so you're gonna go past my toll pool. I, I wonder if it tolls for you too. That would be really nice. Uh, not sure, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put some towers up there to get them going faster so they'll pass stuff more often. Yeah, sounds good, dude. Sounds good. I dig it, man. Okay, looking good. So fire coming out. <laughs> the lake, yeah, that's the, the Chad Lake play, yes, of course. Okay, so I got legions of dudes on their way over. Let's do this. You guys can come down. Do we have another gold node somewhere? Well, for the most part, you guys go work on wood. I'll have to take a look like a haggard path to get to. Can you not get back? You, you're struggling to find your way. All right, so we need to get the upgrades. Oh, hey, French Knights. It's a good thing I just have some random ass sofa sitting here. <laughs> the timing of that was pretty good. The dreaded French raid, you better pull those vills back. He's sniping your vills. Okay. Okay. You know, I, I felt a little bit about, bad about being aggressive, but this is certainly, uh, certainly uh, you know, a call to war here. Right? Uh, not gonna outrun our guys. Yeah, you got you got the 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 wheels of fire for us here. I'll just keep massing units at your base because it clearly looks like they want to get aggressive. Make some spearmen too if need be. All right. Keep chasing a little bit. Get some upgrades coming out. And another one down. Cool. All right. I'm gonna just keep gathering at your base for now. It works. Yeah, I just need to get the boys together. Need some houses. My traders are not trading with your Saharan trade network. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if it worked like that. Yeah. Apparently it might, it might, it straight up might not. I can trade with your dock back there, I think. You can, yeah. Oh, the trade network is a tower. It's not like a trade post. You need to use the marketplace. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, in the back oh. of my base. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird interaction. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just build some stone walls back here so I don't get like trolled in the back. And we'll uh, we'll attack soon, yeah? Yep. I think I have a little bit too much on gold here. Yeah, Mangudai, Mangudai and Sofa, that's uh, quite the dream team there. Okay, so let's make some toll posts. Toll posts, one and let's see that. Let's go see what they're up to. Yeah, shall we? All right, so let's head straight to Teal's base. So just, uh, where's that blue gate? Actually, head to the gate where they ran through. Okay. That seems like it's going to be the way. Can we build more houses here now? We can, nice. So let's delete these. One, two, three. All right, so let's start through the gates. Let's go put a little bit of pressure on these guys. You know, they attacked, they drew first blood. Like John Rambo, you know. <laughs> okay, spearmen, so you just shoot, you kill the spearmen with your archers if you can. Just focus down the spearmen and I'll, I'll kill the knights. Oh, you better run. <laughs> All right. Your gates will not hold the horde. Just, yeah, get those villager picks, nice. Okay. Uh, do I want to send anything with the Farimba garrison? Yeah, probably some spears would be good, actually. Oh, Gotham's Reckoning comes for you guys. 
Okay, again, in comp in the conflict here, you just focus the spears down. Let's torch the houses in the meantime so they get supply blocked. Okay, heads up, heads up. Okay, I'm engaging on the knights here. Pulling back. Just kite them a little bit. When the knights overextend, looks good. I'm turning. All right, I think we got him. Just fight, just fight now. Commit to the fight. Because uh, you kind of reach this like critical mass where people can't... You can overwhelm spears. Yep. About it, yeah. yeah, they're dead. He's dead. All right, let's go for the TC. Just start. Just keep pouring units in. All right, so I'm just going to go after all these vills here. Force them to idle everything. I have armor upgrades, so I should be able to tank these pretty well. Cool, man. Yeah, these guys are toast. Uh, relics? Do we have any places for relics or why not? We might take a minute to actually finish them here. Okay, got a lot of dudes coming in. Castle Age. You having some pathing issues here? Corner there. Uh, yours are too. Hmm. I think they may have come back and built a wall behind us. Oh, that's pretty funny. Oh yeah, I have like a million reinforcements. Yeah. Okay. So let's just. I'll, I'll move my units in and destroy those walls. Yeah. Uh, looks like they tried to maybe. That's weird. No, you're able to just get through like that. That's, that was really weird. Yeah, the pathing is a little screwed up here. We have a very strange position. Okay, let's get some eco upgrades while we're at it. Finish off the TC. He's trying to repair. I need to set up more toll posts. We got the trade going, which is pretty good. Let's get some more of that sweet trade. All right. So then we just need to finish off blue, and then we're chilling. Blue's gonna be like Helm's Deeping, just trying to buy time. Which totally makes sense. Alright, let's grab some more Vils. Go down here. Set up Archer Ranges. Alright, you hunt here. Just kill his other landmarks. Look, he's trying to. Look, Blue's trying to build a wall for him in the north. Those poor villagers. Oh no. Oh, the humanity. All right, so we need to go find another gold node to mine. So let's just get on, uh, where do we have another one down here? It's actually not that much gold around here, dude. It's pretty sparse. Yeah, kind of having that same trouble. I guess we'll just do like a really janky long distance mine here. Or uh, yeah, whatever, for now it's okay. Okay, did we not get the houses built there? We did not. Okay, let's set this up. Hey, thank you, Max Ben Jim. Appreciate the donation, man. Glad to be staying on the member train since my new job is an auditor. Hey, right on, man. You got the Malians covered. Yeah, the pathing is weird. My units are getting stuck there, dude. I have like 500 horsemen over here. I don't know what. What is that shit? That was weird. Okay, well, anyways, let's get the archers upgraded. And uh, let's destroy one of these houses. Are we getting attacked by someone else, or is that. Uh, that's purple. No, purple reach castle age. Yeah, the pathing is screwed up here for some reason. I think it might be this gatehouse or something. I'm not sure. So, had three landmarks. No, he had two. He, had, he only had two. Well, oh no, he just built a third one in the French base. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. How much are we bringing back from trade, anyways? Ah, uh, 56 gold. Not bad get enough of those it adds up. so we'll finish torching down the base here and then um so let's get a toll post here and a toll post here and then we'll move on and we'll go after um we'll go after the other other gentleman give me my free gold damn it you trying to get the mongol gold do you, you get it if you just attack a building that's lit on fire right uh i don't know i don't know if i have to be the I mean, I'm shooting enough arrows that I think they're, they're catching on fire about time I hit it. So. Got it. Okay, so I am going to set us up. Like, I'm going to start walling our entire empire so we just have this, like, area to ourselves up here. You see I'm setting up a coastal wall? Yeah, cool. All right, you're still mining over here a little bit. See if you can find a way into the French base, yeah? Oh, here we go. 
That is that's the second TC. Okay, yeah, French are trying to wall that, see if you could shoot over the walls there with your archers. There you go, nice. And we'll just keep the troops gathering here. I think I'm just going to stay on the sofa train. Mali and cavalry are actually really good. They're very strong. Oh, wow, he actually has a lot of archers over here. Shame archers are terrible against cavalry, but... Yeah, he was like trying to rebuild and everything, dude. Hey, Dome! Thank you for becoming a member. Welcome. Hopefully you're enjoying this uh, this early uh, ferocious battle we have going on here. Okay. Yeah, keep keep uh, poking and prodding for vulnerabilities, yeah. Okay, people are just now reaching Castle Age. I'm about to go Imperial. So what landmark should I do? The, probably the, the Griot is the best one. I'm just going to build them all in base. Yeah, I don't think like I need to hide a landmark as much, considering the layout of our bases and everything, so... Okay, no problem. So let's go take out that French TC. And um, I could also get a cannon over here. Yeah, so we're going to need artillery to um, truly get, get going here. I think I can build one in the um, in the back, like a siege workshop here. God, there's like no space. This is rough. All right, guys, let's build that up. Let's take down this TC. I got an Imperial Age, so let's get you. I actually don't have a whole lot of gold at the moment. We uh, Once we take them out, let's move our trade to the north side of the map. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, we got some workers over here, so let's head those guys off. And cannon. Okay, I'm gonna attack blue from my main base. So you know I have that like weird like entry point up there? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna go. Okay, let's just like take these berry bushes down so I can get some more space here. I will um continue scouring the lands to make sure none survive. And I'm also going to stay down here to make sure that they don't come back through that gate they have to, uh, to reset up. Sounds good to me, dude. I dig it. Oh, hello. Okay. I don't know why they took that pathing. I think they like literally like tried to cage us in here. Like the pathing on these walls on this map is so strange. Okay, I need to get a uni. Let's get a university. We'll get us out of here. And let's get some Muso Fatty Gunners. Oh, you got your uh, Uvu back there. That's fun. I couldn't find stone anywhere. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's it's very it's a little claustrophobic up here, but certainly a cool empire. Um, all right, so where else do we want to go? We probably want a wall here. Yes, and. Yes. Continue walling so we'll be safe. Looking good. It's a good thing we have that gross trade. What is our eco at? Man, I'm at 119 now. I need to chill out. You, uh, you good up there or, uh... Yeah, I should be able to handle him. I think he, he took a pretty heavy beating in our earlier fight, so... I'm going to look around a little bit more and see if I can find, uh... It's just very claustrophobic. Like, this is his main base, you see up here? Yeah. Just never even got wheelbarrow. I had such a hard on for finishing him. Just never bothered. Can I. My army fit past this? It's like super buggy. Oh my god, the pathing on this this seed is so okay. weird. Green has built a uh, uh, neutral trade site in the middle. Okay. Sacred sites are down there. Okay, I'm in his main base. <laughs> oh, he comes to do battle. Okay, I think we can win this. Unfortunately, my cannons can't fit past your OVO there for some reason. I'll delete it if I need to. Yeah, just delete it real quick and we'll rebuild it later. Yeah. 
Right, let's see if they can even get past after that, though, is the question. Yeah, I can't build a cannon back here. Nothing. Manganel shots. Oh, this is messy, dude. This is an ugly spot to fight. No, the cannons are just straight up buggy. They just won't fit through. Yeah. Shame. Well, I think I'm still still going to win the fight, but it's just super ugly. Oh my god, this stupid rock, dude. That's so annoying. He's got Janissaries in here, dude. If you could just go raid like our enemies while I focus on taking him out here, that would be great. Just like go disrupt trade or whatever, you know? That would be a big thing, actually, because they might be trading. GG, well played. Okay, he's he's finished. The the Rebel Alliance has been destroyed. <laughs> Such a bad spot. It's your spot is good and bad because it's next to next to an enemy, obviously. But um, <laughs> the secret alcove. Yeah, our spot was pretty secret too. All right, using the torch festival here. I need a transport ship. I know you could. Hey, you could rebuild your OVO there, by the way. If, you, if it's time. You're gonna build it somewhere else. Yeah, got it. I'll just get my white stupa going. The white stupa. All right. So there's a relic here. I guess I might as well grab that. Torch the landmarks down. Oh, that's where the, the their other landmark was. Yeah, the armory. It was hidden in the shadows. Mm-hmm. So let's try and get efficient walls here. That neutral trade post is looking awfully juicy, Gunhound. Yeah, there's one keeping like a tower defending it. I think we can easily take that. I'll get my my legion down there and we'll uh we'll 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 get it. Sucks having a out and no, gold. no gold, yeah, you just have this like dead landmark basically. Yeah. Okay, let's grab you guys. I'm just like building like all up in your base here. Oh, you're good, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like that weird little corner back there. All right. So they, they're down for the count. Um, cool. So I'm just gonna do a little lumberjacking over here. You guys can. Uh, can go here, I guess. Just trying to make space by cutting down all these forests. The food isn't great. Hey, Felix, thank you for the 50. Holy shit, man. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying the old age vampires, dude. So am I. It's been one of my favorite games to play recently. I think it's because of how fun this game is to play like with a lot of people. That's my one like gripe with Total War is like with how crappy peer-to-peer -peer is. We can never like truly have these kind of things, right? Um, all right, so let's get you guys. Well, yeah, you got the goods. Well, I don't have any uh, religious units down here yet, but uh, I was just looking, just happened to come across. Yeah, you, you just keep scouting, giving us that intel. So that's that neutral trade post. It, that needs to be ours, dude. Straight oh, up. Yeah, absolutely. There's two of them actually, right? There's here. two. Yeah, because they're gonna grow and strong. Two or three. Uh, two or three uh, relics are right here. Okay. Okay. I like what we're working with. Is there any more stone in our little empire? Not really, huh? Uh, no. no. There's, dude, there's like, this is resource bear, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go, um, move out here. I'm hitting, um, hitting the trade lines for, uh, pink and green. Good, you found, you found some of their trade? We have decent trade. It's not much, though. Let's go over here and see what that looked like. Also need to do this again. Delete that. And we can come here, set up a wall, and we can build a gate there. Okay, I'm gonna move out into like this center area and see if I can secure a little bit of ground. Right. Probably have too many villagers. Hmm, there's a dread wolf here. Oh. 
How's it going? They finally sent some uh, archers, at, uh, longbowmen, I think. Yep. Veteran longbowmen. So here's live and direct nation. This is our. These are our other neighbors here. Did you notice who was trading in the middle? Yeah, it was uh, live and direct and rock. They're the ones trading. Yeah, I, I shut down a lot of it, but it, uh, uh, rock sent a lot of uh, bowmen out there to. Got it. To to cause problems, yeah. So yeah, we'll just play like very mobile armies. Okay, let's get you out here. So two down, a lot more to go. That's for damn sure. Should I start attacking live and direct? Like, what do you think? They, they are English. So like, there is certainly some precedent for that. I'm just... uh. Yeah, I mean, we could also we could also just wonder it. We could just make him listen to Wonderwall. We need to sweep the middle. There's too many resources there that everyone else is getting. I'm gonna just take my cavalry army down there. All right. So, oh, he just got Imperial Age. Oh, we've been ahead of him for a while. Okay, heading to the middle. Let's go see what's going on. Okay, so it looks like there's an outpost of a dead player. Just going to torch down some of these towers to make sure we get control here. Got a keep set up. Taking this gold. So I'm going to... Is there a way to... Do you know if there's a hockey to select all traders? Yeah, somebody in chat let me know. This doesn't come up often. Alright, so I just took out those English longbowmen you were talking about. They have paid the troll toll, and also Green's villagers will also go down. I should be able to kill the keep using Siege Festival for torch damage. Alright. Oh, look at that. Big damage. What do you got going on? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm rebuilding my Uvu finally so I can uh, get the torch bonus. Hmm. Control shift A. Oh, that selects like everything. Okay, and then you can just do the traders. Got it. Alright, so I'm going to start um, heading to the middle with my trade. I think I've secured it enough. Set of towers. Oh, maybe not. Okay, look at this. That's cheeky. Trying to block me out here. Okay, so we gotta we gotta make sure we can get that trade going. So all my trades should be heading down now, and I'll also take some bills and build a keep down here. So let's go do that. Have to buy the stone, unfortunately. But oh, hello. Okay, it's a big army. No. Oh, that's right. You can just give me stone, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Here's a casual thousand stone. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm I'm securing our trade route in the middle. I just killed Pink's army because I wasn't paying attention. Got the bomb bombards going on the walls. Killed Pink's army there. Looking good. All right. So the English army has fallen. Ooh, trying to secure the middle, but being attacked by Green. Green's Green's who's uh, Green allies allies with? Uh, green is Pink. Okay, I'm gonna kill Green's army here. I think it looks pretty behind the times. Oh, the traitors arrive! Just in time. Okay, let's do this. Get some forward infrastructure for the aggression. Oh god, hopefully I win this fight, jeez. Villagers, come build this keep. Alright, I think we got him. I secured our trade route. If you want to go to the middle, it's just about secure here. Nice. Keep is up. Eco's 128. Definitely need to cut down on my villager numbers. Not yet, though. We'll steamroll this first. Okay, let's get you guys on this. And you guys come down here and build uh, this. Oh, they have the red palace hidden here. Holy shit. Come, my minions. Ride forth. Oh, look at that trade. 149. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's the good stuff right there. Oh, the Mongolian Lancers. Here, let's get the red keep. It's not uh, garrison, so we can kill it quick. I got Siege Festival popped. 
and I uh, pop the defensive bonus on all our troops. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, the dreaded con? Yep. I don't know why the Red Fortress does so much damage. It's pretty nuts. All right, let's get you. You guys can start orange, gathering stuff. Orange to the west. Oh yeah, looks like some palace guard coming. Got to finish this landmark off. Well, I got keeps there. Should be enough to hold them back. Okay, just finish off these guys, and we'll go back and deal with the Chinese here. Are they just like doing a run by to our base? Not sure what's going on. Okay, we don't need to fight over the corpse of the Red Keep. Let's go north and deal with these Chinese raiders. Alright. Looks like they're slowly going down here. Get more Sofa coming. Uh, you pr yeah, go ahead and switch your traders to the mid probably now. Uh, we're still under a little bit of fire. Maybe you're safer there. I've got some going both ways. Oh, hey, there's a big purple army coming. You see that? Okay, we better we better get like all these reinforcements pumping. Gonna see if I can't sneak around and get uh, yeah, if you get the traps, that'd be nice. This army's pretty low quality. If you flank, we should be able to just crush it. And yeah, Green's losing all of his traders now, so... If we could just become the Dark Overlords of Trade, I don't think they can stop us. Probably just, even with all these players, we just go for Wonder. Yeah, it looks like there's no flanking option there, huh? Yeah, just go up between... Yeah, here, let's uh, squeeze through here. Pulling back, pulling back. Okay, they snipe those things. So we definitely need to kill like live and direct before we get in a big open war with the south because otherwise we'll be 4v2 which is going to be tough. The greedy trade federation. That's what we are dude. Well that's what you have to be in in this format. Okay. Good W there. Okay let's get you guys out. Grab the goodies. You want to grab all the relics around the map? Or do you want me to take them? Uh, you can take them. Okay. Sounds good. I'm good. I've got uh, about 6k of uh, three main resources and a thousand stone just sitting there. Sounds good. Where are my traders coming from? Oh, they're over here. Okay, great. So I'm going to start. Can you defend our southern border while I start pushing into live and direct? Okay, looking to push into the English lands. Looks like there's some English cavalry coming out to do, I'm not sure what. The keeps there, yeah, you just kind of defend there. That relic looks mighty nice. Let's uh, get, you just get this here. Relics aren't what, ain't what they used to be, but they certainly do stuff. Build some cannon towers. Oh, we got a fight here. Okay, I guess we're fighting. Move into the base here, get some Muso Fatty and some basic archers. Oh, ready for this? Yeah, all right. <laughs> so I'm in their base, although it looks like it's pretty well walled. Let's see the Torch Festival. Yep, looks like we dispatched that army there. Are those your men at arms or the, those are theirs? Okay. Hmm. Okay, we need to kill this thing. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have burning oil yet. Alright, let's move the artillery pieces up. Um, I think I have all the uni upgrades. Let's blast down the gatehouse here. Are you, are you fending off the dreaded raids in the south? Oh yeah. Green, orange, it's, it's, it's everyone, man. Yeah, it sounds like a good time. Okay, moving through. Did we get that relic up north? Did we ever get that one? So just sitting there. Okay, it's actually going to be kind of hard to kill him here. I might be able to. Just because so far, very strong. Let's get you down. Cool. Okay, I've engaged the main English army. My supply lines are kind of far though, unfortunately. Okay, let's just Lumberjack here. Snipe, 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 snipe. Alright, gather up. Okay, we got all the springs down. 
Start raiding into the base. So we'll gather up our forces and then we will raid in the meantime. Alright, let's attack. Go down here. Attack. There we go. Alright. Gotta disrupt the food. Way too many on wood. We don't need that. So let's cut these guys down. We also need to get fully upgraded because I've been getting a little bit excited here. I'm gonna go scout their base. How's the, the fight going down there? Uh, pretty dead right now. Pretty good. You're chilling. Nope, don't trickle in. Okay. Are we looking? Are they still being built? Good. They are. I don't even know if I really need pastures, honestly. Okay, I see all his landmarks. I know where everything is now. So when we come in for the kill here with the second wave of pressure. What is our food right now? Eco's 113. We probably want... Mm -mm. Yeah, our fishing seems pretty solid. Alright, round two is coming in, guys. Here we go. So this is the first round of the tournament. If we win this, we go to the essentially what's, what is going to be the grand finals. I forgot how miserable it is pushing into the English. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Make some warrior scouts. Why the hell not? Might need to get my infrastructure a little bit more dialed in before I can go for the kill here. Okay, looks like we grabbed a relic. I, I heard the little sound that is my... Uh, gets me going. Where is it? Okay, it's around here somewhere. Whatever. Come reinforcements. A lot of the reinforcements are coming from the main base is the problem. Alright, let's send you out there. We're pretty close to breaking the momentum here. Okay, you guys finished off the stone, so let's bring you up here and get a keep in their in their face. I think that's gonna do pretty good. Okay, I need to gather a bigger army. Yeah, I need to gather a bigger army. Okay, so I think there's a gold node here, so let's just mine that. We probably want to make some more trade, so trade can come down here now. Yes, please. Gather back, gather back. Okay, do I have food gathering maxed out? I don't think so, but neither do I have our ore pits maxed out. The English have a pretty good army. It's definitely very respectable. We could we could 2v1 them, but are you... Like, what's your current situation? Uh, I'm 200 max. Um, I need to get some money to me about them. If you're not doing anything, we could just try and steamroll them together real quick. Uh, actually, you know what? I think first I'm gonna... Orange has decided he wants to be a little bit... Better. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so moving this way. Like, my food income isn't that good, I'm noticing here. Okay, Bills. Ooh, this doesn't look like it's going to go super hot. He's got too many traps here. Yeah, this is bad. The cursed English, man. They're always just so strong. Okay, so let's go back and figure out where we want to set up our farms. I think we have some space here, so we can do farms. Farms, farms, and then do some here. Should be good. Okay, looks like the Chinese are poking us down there. Is that Arky falling? Oh, that's the Chinese. Okay. We might want to just go for a wonder at some point. Although, man, with English and also Chinese on the board, that's that's going to be a tough bargain. Yeah, I mean, if we could soften them up a little bit, maybe. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Okay, is there any more forest around here to work on? There is. Well, the English are going to just have crazy long gold. Uh, looks like the keeps in the middle are being trebucheted by green. It would appear. Yes. Uh, yeah. They're on the back side of that wall. Got another relic here. I'm going to grab this. Some tithe barns. I need more food for sure. It's not cutting it. The fishing is starting to dwindle. So I'm going I'm to need a moment of peace before I can get really aggressive again. Do you need some a quick injection of food? No, I'm good, brother. I'm good. Yeah, I just I have like a million villagers who are about to just go go bananas here. 
Okay, and then we'll set up cattle ranches too. That should solve our food problem. We need to start banking resources. Okay, you guys need to join the main army out here. Oh, the English are gonna attack me? The hell? It's weird. They just sent their knights ahead of the rest of the army. Okay, I'll take it. Maybe he's just trying to free up supply or something. Uh, did I get fully upgraded? I don't know if I did. Let's see. Just about. Okay. So farms are coming up. I need to have like 30,000 food right now, you know? Yeah. Let's get some cattle ranches too. Okay, looks good. So we'll get the cattle ranches set up. Thankfully, we have this insane trade. Uh, you got that Chinese army? You take them? Yeah, I got it. Give you guys a cinematic shot of Gunhound going to war here. I do have a lot of wood. That's what she said. But, um... Yes. I, I want to hoard the wood so I can set up all this infrastructure. Okay, so workers here setting up all the farms. Now we can start making the cattle. We'll set them there and then distribute them to all the ranches. You good there? Yeah, perfect. Need to pull some of these lumber workers down here. And then go to another lumber node. We don't really need all that, I don't think. So we're going to pull you guys to the middle. And switch here. Okay, where was our little conquest going? Right there. Very good. All's quiet on the English front, but you can never, you never know when they're going to... Come out of nowhere. Let's see this, this, this. Just so we have intel up there. Thankfully, those villagers had pretty quick access here. Did anyone else just lose down right now? Uh, probably, probably just you, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing everything fine. Okay, let's just get distribute on the cattle ranches. And now we need to probably just make more archery ranges down here. So let's get a couple of you guys. Okay, let's get this, 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 and this. Set that as our current grouping. And you guys can just go and set all these guys up here. Yeah, the archers are really good with the uh, Malians. They're very strong. They have the, the dreaded poison arrows, which I don't know if I ever got the uni upgrade for them. Hmm. Let's go check that. Uh, looks like I do have it. Nice. So let's get the health and building health. Oh, there's another relic sitting over there. Okay. Dude, we're getting all the goodies, man. We definitely have... I think we definitely have some really good control right now. You want to switch your trade to the middle? It'll massively increase your income. Yeah. What is our eco? 116 with an 84 military. Yeah, it's not a huge military. Set up a couple towers. Oh, wow. Wonder, huh? You see that shit? Wonder South. Yeah, yeah. We, we're going to have to go for him, dude. That is a pretty... Ball how many sacred sites are there? Do we have control over how many? One, two. Uh, we have control over... Two. Do you know where the other sacred site is by chance? No, we have all three. Well, we do? I mean, we, we where, can have all where is three. the third one? Can you ping it? You're, uh, And then the other one's right next to our heaps in the middle. Okay, let's grab all three of those right now. I think. I don't know. Or maybe we, we can wait a little bit longer. That wonder is going to finish, though. And he he's yeah. probably really entrenched. Nobody's been fighting them, right? Yeah, they've been... I mean, just what they've been doing in the middle. Okay. So, I'm going to start entrenching the sacred sites. I think that's, that's going to be a play. Because we have a good foothold. Okay, they're actually marching to fight us. I'm definitely going to push them in the meantime, but I'm going to grab two sacreds and prepare to grab the third one. Oh, wow. Yeah, here comes purple. Yeah, it's not that good of an army. We should be able to beat it. Hopefully the English don't try and backstab us during all this. They definitely could. I'm grabbing the other sacred site here. Got the cattle. Good, good. Let the cattle feast. You do have the problem of being in between... Don't go sacred or we won't help. It kind of like turns us into the wonder team, right? 
Yeah. Which I mean, we didn't get attacked by both sides. Can okay. So after we win this fight, we need to scout and see how deeply entrenched they are. If it's a hell on earth, we should probably just go sacred. But we have to make this snap decision very quickly. Yeah. Okay. Because like, yeah, we just beat their armies, but. But we're only getting attacked by one side right now. Yeah, but like we dispatched them pretty easily there. I mean, if we can get purple and pink to go in with us, we go destroy the wonder. Then, if they build a wonder, we can just take sacred sites. Then, when uh, purple and the problem is, if we just fail on the wonder, it's gonna be yeah. tough. I'm just moving down. Uh, we are attacking now because I feel like we could defend pretty well against all these guys. Like the defenses have been going good for us, right? Yeah. Can you start entrenching on the sacred sites a little bit? Mm -hmm. I've been building uh, cannon towers. I'm doing a straight run through to their um, to the to their uh, landmark or to the keep wonder. All right. Get an idea for what we're working with. Yeah, greens having to run like right through our shit, which is kind of stressful. Yeah. See, like the pathing is just awkward. Okay, hey, they're attacking us. Greens attacking us. No, 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 no. He's, he's, he's working around. Is he? Pathing is, is messed up. Yeah, okay. Okay, what's my eco at right now? 121. Need to delete some of these units somewhere. Is there any other way? Yeah, I think we gotta just do it. We gotta go, go for the sacred. Alright. Because otherwise we're just... Uh, do we have a religious character nearby? Don't, but I've got, uh, oh, I do, I do. I, I have one. Okay. Yeah, because they're, like, I'm down here pressuring them, but... Oh, dude, there's like 100 cannon towers now. Screw that. They've been preparing. Okay, we got to go sacred. So get ready. Start spamming static defenses. Okay, let's do this. All right, prepare the defense. I'll keep attacking with this army here and just trading, and then we'll come in and defend these. Okay, let's do this. They, they, they say why, but they haven't seen what I've seen. They haven't seen the monstrosity that is the static defense spam down there. Okay, those guys traded into their armies, which is good. I have so many on food now. Okay, so you guys come down here. We're going to need the static defense support. All right, so we got to just defend the hell out of these. Okay. We're going to start getting attacked pretty heavily, though. So just start spamming, like, unholy amounts of Mongol towers. The wonder is far too entrenched. Yeah, static defenses everywhere. Can we fit through here? Nice. Still got some workers. I still have some dudes attacking in the Chinese base. It's pretty funny. All right, man. This is it. This is do or die. We got it. We must defend the middle with our with our lives here, dude. Towers, towers, towers. Yeah, you got cannon towers being upgraded. We need like stone walls, also to make it like awkward. I don't know if there's actually a way through there, but we'll find out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh boy, this is going to be a tight hold. So we win in 8 minutes and 40 seconds at this point. Say what? They build a keep back down. Yeah, I see them. That's where the... Hopefully the fighting just comes from here. Uh-huh, culverins. Looks good. Let's grab some of you guys. Set up a little wall on the mountain. Looks good. Don't know they could try some sort of a weird naval landing, so hopefully that's not the case. It would take a long time to organize a naval landing. Uh, they're uh, trebbing from the east. From the east, yeah. Is there any way we can engage them and kill those trebs or no? Uh, we'd have to take down that wall. Okay, yeah, so as soon as they come out, just get ready to... We can't let them get ground. I think the other players are being, like, really cautious. Okay, they're trebbing. 
Doing a little random damage, no biggies. And you guys need to go and just gather this gold if we can. Alright. The die is cast. We got Chinese coming from the south, Fire Lancers. Can you intercept the Fire Lancers if they uh, move this way? Ah, oh, there's an opening in that mountain. Shit. It's like a weird, weird opening here. Okay. We got this going. Cannon towers, cannon towers. Yes, please. English are trying to get out. As soon as you see those villagers, um, yeah, okay, I'm going to go run them down real quick. The Chinese are going the other direction, trying to find a way in, but they don't have any siege equipment. Okay, let's get the trap shooting over the walls. Here come uh, French Knight. Okay, where from? Uh, south. Okay, I'm intercepting. We got to block them so they can't get on it. Okay. Here we go. Let's get reinforcements coming in. Oh, hello. Let's get another uh, keep up here. Seems to be going pretty well. The Chinese are trying to find a way in, but they don't appear to have any siege equipment. All right, we got uh, the Maniori coming, or live and direct coming through on the uh, east. Okay, let's just, in the east. Yeah, I see the Chinese, unfortunately for them, can't seem to find a way in, so. Uh, send your army south. We need you to uh, steamroll that, that green army. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, English might be mustering out. We steamroll that army. Let's get you on repairs here. China just kind of standing over there, which is good. Keep macro units. Okay, can you head over and um, I'll repair this keep. Can you make sure the Chinese don't get too crazy here? You see them on the east side? They're like sitting there with a small army. East or west? Uh, east. They're like over here. Just keep uh, keep an eye on them. I don't know if they're going to make a play for that. Okay, they look like they left. That is west, sir. What? Sorry. Things are, shit's getting hectic. <laughs> Okay, let's set up another keep here. Screw it. How many workers do I have right now? Okay, way too many, huh? Don't think I'm going to need this much food, so let's free up supply. How are we looking? Man, that keep's still there. Holy shit. Cannon towers. Keep those cannon towers coming, too. Okay, I got a lot of troops here just kind of chilling. Oh, boy. Okay, let's have you guys gather gold. The cursed English trebuchets. Turn, uh, if you have, uh, you can build a uh, gate over on that west side to get through there. Um, there's no way to like get through. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Oh, they're trying to demo ship the walls down. Holy shit! Okay, I'm, I'm sending villagers to build. Uh, get your army over there right now, like preemptively. I'm repairing the wall. Yeah, you got someone to repair it? Oh, that's so yeah, funny. I, I had two villagers in there. Oh man, that's hilarious, bro. Oh my god, he's got like 500 trebuchets here. Okay, I got walls. I got it being built. Just keep an eye on them, because that's probably going to be their play, right? Yeah. I'll call, I'll call if I need help over here, back at the... Uh, Okay, they're trying to set up. They're trying to set up. We got to squash them. Let's get you guys going here. You guys going here. Oh, we got uh, green from the south. I see him. Okay. I think I pushed back the English for the most part. I thought stopped the keep. Okay, it looks like green didn't do much. Oh, his traps are overextending. We need to kill those. Yeah. Okay, there's two traps there. I'm diving them. Uh huh. One trap down. Got the other trap. Uh, how much stone are you sitting on? Uh, thirty-five hundred. Okay. 
you need some? Uh, yeah, just send me some extra for a keep. Oh my god, this is just a fierce, fearsome battle, bro. Trying to kill these guys building this damn keep here. Those English trebs are just insane, the damage they do. Oh. Delete Wonder, I won't help Sacred anymore. <laughs> hey, they're coming on the... The Chinese are... are get, get your army ready. They're there. Okay, I got some dudes coming over to help. Okay, are you going to be able to hold them? Uh, yeah. We'll see. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I got I got a small contingency force coming over. Watch demo ships from the water. Yep. But so far, we're holding pretty well here. Oh, on the demo ships come up on shore. Jeez. Oh, we got a uh, bow coming in. Okay, I'm repairing the keep. I got keep repairs. If need be. Doesn't look right, like they're... I, I took out Purple's army. Okay, just let me know how it's going. It's still pretty heated over here on the other side. Uh, I think the keep's gonna hold. Oh, the, did they delete the wonder? He deleted the wonder! Okay, so even if we lose this, we're still in the game then. Okay. Okay, rebuilding. Trying to hold on the other side. Oh, God! Our static defenses are dwindling for sure. But there's no more threat of a wonder, so we just need to straight up hold. Okay, I think we're safe over there, yeah? I'm building another keep over there just to help. Uh, can you rebuild the wall? At least slow them down if uh, come in. Oh, shit. They still have their friggin' bombard cannon here. I'm gonna go torch it. Okay, I think we're holding over here. Our trade is just so foul. I just sent you another thousand stone. Thank you. I'm gonna just keep building keeps. Oh my god, they instantly get knocked down. I guess towers are probably better, honestly, because... Okay, they're rushing onto the objective. You got some dudes there. Mango's here as well. Okay, that looks secure. Huh? Uh-huh. Ah, shit, here they come. They're back. I didn't get it up in time. That's what she said. Um... All right, here they come. They're surging out. A couple more seconds. Cannon towers. Oh, we've done it. It was the right decision. Yeah. <laughs> good hold, man. That was a good hold. That was stressful, dude. The Chinese demo ships coming in. Holy shit. Oh, man. Yeah, was about, and the demo ships like almost got up on the, the sacred site. I was like... Th that was... Yeah. Doc Hollywood, thank you for the donation. Sorry I missed that. That's one way to get the blood pumping late at night. Or... Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, I, I figured there would be some naval action. But um, the thing is, yeah, his wonder was down here. And look, for anybody who says the sacred site wasn't, was like the wrong choice, look at this shit. You want to get through this? Look, over, look, at the Chinese, look at the entrenchment down there, dude. That would just be hell. Jeez. And you have to remember that We'd have to work with these two guys, which their the path to the wonder is like right through us, so it gets like awkward with pathing through our trade. Through yeah, and we were way ahead of everyone financially because of the trade we had. So I think like going for the greed play was was the way to do it. GG, man. Oh, that was you, Ryan. Oh man, that was stressful as hell, dude. Your English trebs just pounding us. Yeah, China was trying to help, but I think Ch China got a little bit beat up though. Because I, I killed a lot of their villagers when I raided them down there, when I went to go check the wonder. So um, I think China was behind a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, the cannon towers are awesome. Pretty entrenched. Yeah, thankfully all three sacreds were like right there. It was like still not like super close together, but yeah, that was something, man. Jeez. That, that was a map. Yeah, that one, that, that was a map. one on the water stressed me a little bit. Yeah, well, thankfully you had your army waiting there, so you were like, you had the, you had I think like four or five cannon towers plus your army in the keep, right, with burning oil. Yeah, I just gave up on everything but hand cannoneers because it's like they'll just melt everything. Yeah, hand cannoneers are just like ubiquitously just like a. Oh, look at that! So your hand cannoneers actually benefit from my, uh, the aura that the uh, Musaf, not the sofa give because the sofa give the speed buff. That's pretty cool. God, English Trebs, dude, they were killing everything. The English Trebs were just like mowing my armies down. <laughs> you felt that one in your marbles? Oh, man. 
how are we uh, how are we looking on the pods by the way i would imagine we were one of the first ones to finish yeah i have to i'm gonna check in with them now i'm so uh ingrained in that it's like no yeah. clue what everyone else was doing i'm like literally chilling freezing in here so i'm just gonna turn the heater on real quick yeah it was fun man so far it seemed really good uh let's see pod four and pod three actually looks like everybody's done oh my god yeah it's it must have yeah i I can see that the game's being faster when there's a teammate involved because of the consolidated efforts for the victory conditions like sacreds or wonders you know yeah all right let's get these finals going huh and see how it goes see what dark lords have made it to the grand finals (laughs) the shiner was more entrenched than a bureaucrat we got rolled early on you were the malians oh no cody what happened? What happened? So what do they actually? Yeah, so if I get the, um, so they get, they're faster than regular Cav, I guess. I think they are. They're cheaper than regular Lancers, which is nice. Strong combat. And then when you get the imported armor, it really kind of changes things up. It pretty much turns them into like a standard Cav unit, which is also faster than heavy Cav and is cheaper. Really, really cost-effective to spam those guys, man. Can you bump Gunhound's volume? Sure. We did it a couple times in the beginning, but we'll, we'll try again now. Okay, you're, he's at 30% higher now, so let's see if that works. Outstanding. Outstanding, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're on to the grand finals. Could be a quick one tonight. We'll have to see. Someone's just going to win the game in like 10 minutes. How much of England's population was in, uh, was in Trebs? Probably a lot. But they were behind walls, so I couldn't like get to them without building my a siege equipment. But cannons aren't really good as a defensive siege piece. Like typically, mangonels com- uh, combined with spring alds are what you wanted to like defend yourself with. Yeah. Play as the Ottomans turn. Maybe I might try them this game. Who cares? Yeah, we'll we'll give it a whirl. Exactly. We're just here for fun. Okay. That's right. That's right. So I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick, man. I'll be right back. Chat it up. All right, let's see if we can get everybody in here. So, everybody out there doing good tonight? I can finally look at the chat a little bit now. All right, guys, we're back in business, getting ready for the uh, grand finals of tonight's tournament. That was a quick one, yeah. Man, we've been streaming for an hour and a half. That game felt like it was like over in like 20 minutes. Ryan, always, thanks. Hey, thank you, man. Well played. Yeah, that's live and direct. He just donated 20 bucks. Thank you so much, man. And uh, hopefully you had fun. That that game was uh, definitely in like two, like felt like two different games, like the yeah. pre-middle and then everything after we took the middle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like the Northern Conquest was like a was its own phase. We got a, we got a pretty god tier spawn though, like that like little corner. That was that was pretty nice. Although we picked it, we moved there. You know, everyone had the option of moving there, I suppose. Yeah, I couldn't break through the English. Like it, it would have taken a ton of effort, and maybe I wouldn't have succeeded. So I didn't want to get into a war of attrition with them. I couldn't get through Ryan here live and direct. He, he held me back well. So I was like, all right, well, I guess we'll just <laughs> just go for the sacreds. See how that goes. Yeah, it was scary, man. So do we want to do... Let's. I'm going to try Ottomans this time. I'm going to give them a try. I'm not like the most proficient with them, but uh, it should be fun nonetheless, right? Hey, I mean, whatever. cool to have fun with whatever you want to do. You'll do it, man. Oh, man, yeah, these these Lord of the Rings minis are, are really cool. I think someday um, I'm going to start a tabletop channel. 
and we'll uh, maybe play this game on it. I have to figure out what to play though. Oh, the Nazgul are so cool. The Ring Wraiths. Yeah, so I got the Malian trade building confused with the Ottoman trade building. So the Ottoman one is the one where you start with two traders. That, that's really, really good. So we'll definitely do that. Uh, out of curiosity, what's the best army comp for Mali? It depends on what you're playing against, really. Um, I'm a huge Sofa advocate. I think they're really good. Like they cut, they're cheaper than than enemy knights, and they honestly trade really well into them. Once you get the imported armor, like one of my favorite playstyles with Ottomans is to not Ottomans, Malians is to go like fast castle, but you open with one stable. You build like two or three Sofa to harass, then you go fast castle, and then you. Uh, use the Farimba garrison to like spam out like whatever infantry you need to counter your opponent's army comp. It's really good. Yeah, Ottomans, Ottomans will be fun, man. We'll give it a try. Okay, who do we got here? Is this one of our people here? The dreaded no rank. Oh, platinum. Got a, a Dark Lord of Diamond in there too. All right. The legions are gathering. I better jump on your team. Yeah. Did Allied Trex make it as well? He's saying he's saying invite him. This is Delhi going to be honoring us in this game. How many double English comps are we, we going to have to go for? <laughs> Rina Emperor, that's pretty funny. The English villager snipes. Yeah. Yeah. The the Holy Romans are interesting, man. Like the relic theft is fun. I feel like with Holy Romans. You're really good at steamrolling one person. Like you just get in there, you give them the dirty, they get steamrolled. And then after that, you're just kind of weaker because like your power spike kind of passes since you don't have any like trade accentuations and your unique units aren't that backbreaking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Emperor Jarn and Allied Trex made it too, huh? All right. So we just need to get that like disgusting trade going, you know? Just the filthiest. You know, I think Ottomans are really good too because they have super powerful unique units. They have like Janissaries which are good and, and Sipa here also. I guess they're not that much. Their abilities situationally okay for raiding and stuff but yeah I suppose it's the trade. The Bronze Lords of Pod 4 have lost. Trusty no. No. So are we all killing double English? <laughs> oh do we have a double English team? No I don't think they're double English. They are not on a team. Do you find that as you get older, Gunhound, that like when you type things, you say them? Uh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, I think I, that's like honestly half the time I'm narrating what I do in my life. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm gonna walk to the kitchen now. Walk into the kitchen. I love it, dude. Yeah. yeah, it's like a mid thirties thing for sure. Robert, thanks for becoming a member. <laughs> why did Why did the game just censor the word English? It's just like, no. English are too offensive for these free-for-all games. All right, cool. Hey, I'm I'm down to scrap with my villagers. I'm down, dude. I'm, I, I, I fear no evil here. Yeah. Now, I will say, apparently, uh, in their pod, uh, the uh, Team 8, Okay. Uh, Englishmen apparently started sniping other people's bills <laughs> immediately. That's hilarious, though. Uh, yeah. You can run from them. They can't catch you. Villagers are the same speed, so if you just run, they're eventually going to have to... Uh, the only worst part, I guess, is, is if they catch you while you're building your TC, right? And they, exactly. They sacrifice their own build time to kill you. It's like... They're sacrificing, too, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and if you can get two of your bills together... Yeah. You should yes. still be able to like shank yeah to be to get the shank. Well, one on one, I think you can. I don't know. Actually, I think the bow always wins over the the prison shank. Yeah, because they can start attacking you before you can close the distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. That, that's really funny good though. Luck. Have fun. All right, All right. Man. let's do it. I'm, I'm good. You good? I'm good, brother. Hey, Robert. Thanks again for becoming a member. Welcome to the Dukes, man. Thank you. Much love. Hey, appreciate that, dude. In any case, is he playing Delhi? Oh, we have we have one Delhi player. Okay. Who do you think he was going to be playing? I would be really shocked if Allied played someone else. Delhi isn't awful. They have some 
tools and, and team FFAs, because of the fact that they get keeps for 600 stone instead of 800, their allies can sometimes feed them stone and they can get like more keeps. And they're also really good at grabbing relics, so. Allied threatened to not play in one of our tournaments because it was a random Civ tournament. Yeah, well, you gotta you gotta pay the price, man. I, I love the random Civ tournaments. It's really fun. It's really fun. Yeah, I plan on doing another one of those again sometime soon. Yeah. The English villagers. Did we have observers checked? I don't remember if we did. Well, hey, uh, what? Even if uh, if we happen. die, it's fine. It's it's really tough to kill two people outright. So you'll get you'll get the full experience here. So allied and Emperor Jaren and the Malians, the elephants, English, Mongols, English, French, classic comps, stone wonder. Who built the wonder last game? What civ was that? That was French? Yeah, it was a French player, and I think China was defending it. Yes. Because they just save stone in their guild hall, and they just cackle. Yeah. I got to I gotta learn how to play Malians on the, or the Ottomans here on the fly, man, so please forgive me. Oh, you're good, man. Like it I said, it's for fun. It wouldn't be one of our streams if Allied didn't take like 30 minutes to load. Oh, dude, he's got competition. You see this? Oh. All right, chat. Who do you think is going to win? Allied or Authentic here? Authentic. I don't know. Let us know who your who your top runner is. I got my money on Allied. He's already got a, a little bit of a, a lead in the race. Now, I will say, beware of Authentic because he will go the distance. Oh, dude. Uh, he, look at he, that. He was, he was the winner of Pod Forever. Yeah, that we had several tournaments ago that just went on and on and on for oh, three hours. He got was it. the winner from that one because we had to go <laughs> on without him, and he actually got to buy the last tournament uh, because we had to go on without him. Yeah, I remember because it just took like four hours. Yeah, dude, look at that. Allied got smoked, man. I was totally wrong. He he had a he had a horse that just needed to get kind of winded up in the race, dude. <laughs> hey, Scott, sounds good, man. No no worry no worries. I understand. You got to vote for the guy that took you down. Emperor Jaren, yeah, landmark sniping with Malians is pretty viable too because you can use the torch festival, the siege festival. All right, um, where are you at? I got no, two in the south and one uh, kind of mid. Let's northwest. take the south corner. All right. It looks like we're down there and like we both have a villager down there, so it's safer. Yep. And uh, I got my other guys hustling. Plus it's a corner, so it's not to love. Okay, deer camp. Usually a deer camp is good enough to start. Uh, I'm going to just start in this deer camp here. Okay. I, I And just hope there's gold nearby somewhere. <laughs> ah, the cursed wolves. Oh, you got two vills down here. That's even better. Nice. Uh, I'm going to build right next to this. Looks like there's wood here. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be really close. Damn, that's nice. Yeah, you got an Ovo right next to you. But what about a food source? I'll just build a pasture. And yeah, that's true. Then I guess. have it uh, produce extra fast because of the Yabu. Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. So you, you have a plan. <laughs> the fire festival. Whether it's a good one or not, it's a plan. Yeah, it'll do, man. I don't know if my other villager is going to make it. He's like he's like off in the shadow realm being mauled by wolves and shit. Yeah, we got a good spot, though. I assume there's someone. there could be someone like directly like next well, to us. We know where uh, Dissy is. Yeah, do we see? Oh, okay. Yeah, we just saw... Uh, him up there. No, there's water shit. Okay, it's just... Oh, no, there's a river. Hmm. We might be missing out if we, we don't get be, the river. We might be close to it if it no. goes to the bottom of the map. I could have my other guy scout it. I'll have my other dude, like, kind of run the course. Turn is trading? I am I am gonna be trading. <laughs> if assuming I don't die early. Okay. So, how far does this glorious river go? Does it go, like, all the way down here? Huh. Fishing is just such a boon. It's so powerful. You can kind of keep up by going 2TC, but typically you won't. Okay. Yeah, right, we'll just scout it with our first workers. Hey, water faucet. Thank you. You're going to need it. Thanks for all the age content. Thank you, man. Okay. Gunhound and I are very cozy neighbors here. You have a wood line to your west, too. Good. Yep. At least enough to get us started. Worst case, I'll just pack my shit up and leave. Okay. Yeah, the river might not reach us. I'm not sure. We'll get a scout out pretty quick. Probably should start get, get a scout just so I can find a gold node right away. Okay, so we're going to go with the scout. 
You're going to set up an Avo right away? I guess you have enough wood, yeah, and you don't need population, right? So you can just do that right away. That's really nice. Oh, shit, look at this. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. That is oh, close. that's close. He better hope. He better hope his, his allies nearby. You know? Wow. That's like right up on us, on us here, dude. Yeah, we, we need to. That has to die. To handle that. That needs to go. Hey, I'm surprised this guy made it all the way back, too. Man, if I can't find a gold node, we're going to be in some danger here, dude. Yeah. How it, is it was, there no gold around us? I mean, I saw a bunch north. This is a, like a great spot, though, assuming we can find some. Okay, he has a gold node here by his base. <laughs> should, I, should I just go over there and set up a tower on it and just use it as ours? I mean, I mean it might not be a bad idea, honestly. Might as well claim it. Yeah, once I get enough wood. Or maybe you should do that, since you can just build an arrow tower, huh? Because, like, I think that's his goal. Like, that's what he's going to get for gold. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll shoot. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, getting a couple sheep, which is good. Uh, you know, don't worry. I'm going to be going over there anyways. Okay. It has to happen. Okay, there's two gold nodes back here. If we deny that, then he's just going to get no gold. I think that's literally all the gold there. Okay, so I'm going to send a worker down there preemptively to start, like, securing it. We could torch his OVO here, too. <laughs> we'll wait till the next stage to do that. Like, I don't want to be too aggressive, because that, like, basically loses you games, right? Yeah. If, if you're too crunk, you know, it can set you back. Alright, I got the con out. He's going to start doing some recon for us. Setting up a tower first. Just super jank. Oh no. Oh, did I lose the wood? Oh, yeah, man. He's getting the gold. And he's getting a tower up. Shit. That's not good. This The plan is falling apart. We need to find gold elsewhere now. <laughs> the boy was watching, dude. Well, that means we need to... Yeah, we need to find some gold stat, or or just like tons of feudal pressure. Well, at least I can maybe kill his con here if he's not watching. Okay, okay, we have a gold note over there. That's good. We're gonna have to share it. We'll we'll each get on one side and bring the bring the goods over. Oh, is there a stone node around here anywhere? Dude, is there any stone for your ovos here? Uh, there's some up here out front. Oh north. my god, this ended up being a pretty bad spawn, actually. Oh wait, we got, uh, pink out here. Yeah. Okay, looks good. Uh, this must have just been his, like, extra villager. Because, um, his, his TC's a long ways away. Who is Purple's ally? Purple... Is orange, I think. Orange? Okay. No. No, that's pinks. Um... Right, well. Yeah, we got a weird spawn, dude. We got a very weird spawn. Okay, so I got some guys on gold now, so I'm going to be able to get to the next age finally. But the Mongols are probably going to be way ahead of us. Like, he's going to be pressuring us soon, so we'll have to use our, um... We'll have to use our combined efforts to survive. Okay, let's get you going. How many do we got there? Three is plenty. We need to get you guys there. Okay. I'm gonna scout the back of the base here. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. He's gonna be raiding us very soon, but we we need to go heavy feudal pressure and like drive him out. Cause I'm having to do like long distance mining to get my gold, which is just super trash. Is Victor allies with him? Yeah, shit. They got way better spawns than us. They have river gold right at their base. Yeah. This is gonna be tough, dude. It's gonna be tough. Okay, so got gold coming. Got that for the military school. It's on, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a scrap. We are definitely at the disadvantage. Okay, so probably just going to go some heavy Sipa heat play. Get military schools rolling. Very close to aging up. 
We need to see if the Mongols are attacking up. Can you scout that? Do you have someone nearby there? Oh, I'm actually close. Never mind. I mean, I if he dies, I'll just get a free gun back. It'd take some time, but. All right, so let's do. Um... Okay, they're building a barracks. So he's trying to get some early spears out. Okay, let's get you. Do this. Get a military school going. You can do it out here. The pressure is on. Hey, watch your con, watch your con. Yep, yep, I got him. The con lives. They, they all ran back into the tower real quick, so shut down. They're cold for a second. Yeah, just keep poking there if you can. Just try and be disruptive. No. There we go. All right. Oh my god, are we being raided? Oh, hey, there's a con attacking our little gold alcove over there. I'll send uh, someone over to go deal with him. All right, it's about to get to the next age. Food is kicking. Probably two here is enough. Let's bring you back. Right. Make some free spears. Uh, my con's coming with you. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop him. Almost to the next age myself. If we beat them to age two, I'm going to be very surprised. I'm going to be thoroughly shocked. Okay, can we get to the next age? We can. Um... We can we can leave that con be. I'm gonna build a tower down there by the gold. Sounds good. I'm uh, preparing to pressure the Mongols. Sadly, we kind of have to here. We don't have much choice. They're just too close and too angry. We're basically gonna have like a haggard skirmish here. All right, let's take the free sheep. I think uh, matter and imams. Yeah, let's take the sheep. Good timing. Just about to run out of food, actually. Why can't I build Janissaries yet? Wouldn't that be nice? Are they really tower rushing here? Holy shit, look at this. As if I don't have anything here. That's some aggression. Yeah. Certainly makes sense. Okay, you got the, the tower canceled there. Let's see. There build a second TC right next to it? That's the primary. No, that's the primary. Okay. It's literally been this close the whole time. Which is hilarious. Khan is raiding a little bit. So I'll do like a frontal push while you just raid the eco basically, yeah? Because horsemen I won't be that good in a head up fight, so. Yeah, uh -huh. let's see this. Nope, oh, they got trying to tower again. Just keep. Uh, careful, it's close to their TC, so you're going to get yeah, aggroed in. Yep. I have archers, so I can shut it down. Careful, careful. Watch your con. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just tried to get him. Good and quiet. I'm going to start torching their, uh, their business here. The, um... The, uh, whatever the hell this thing is, Anovo. Alright. This is gonna set us back super hard, though. This is, like, heavy feudal battling. Yeah, come help me torch this. This is gonna slow him down, for sure. I'll just go snipe those bills who are trying to build towers. Ah, uh, they got the gun. Yeah, it's fine. They're, they're gonna lose. A lot of English longbows. If they overextend, can you pick them? Yeah. You can let that thing burn. Okay. This is just like the neighbor's war, dude. Maybe go raid the English base, yeah? Can you go like hit their eco? 
I think I can defend against him, most likely. Okay, do this. We need to get more military schools up. Yeah, if you can get into the English gold infrastructure and just start like dunking on him, that would be huge. Okay, English towers coming up. Yeah, get into the back of the base. Kill the kill any docks, like anything you can. Okay, pulling back myself. River crossing here. That's weird. Seen a little bit more for another one of those. Is there a teal player like raiding them there? Like, what's going on there? I don't know. Uh, he's got to be on the other side of the river. Okay, we're gonna need marcher ranges for sure. All right, so let's go for the arrow shields. Let's get the arrows. So let's keep popping them. Let's get this and get a military school up here as well. Just gonna have to do it back here because whatever. How's the raid going? Uh, shut down some fishing. Um, Someone likes. Them. Someone's one of those Mongol tower rush hard on enthusiasts here. Okay, let's see this and this. I don't know that we have anybody to our north. You don't think we do? I'm not sure. I don't. Here, tell you what, I'll send my con up that direction just to see what we're dealing with. Because, I mean, that could be really good for our trade. Yeah, it could. It's going to be hard to get this trade going under fire, though. It's getting it's getting pretty wild here. Hopefully your rating's going well. I'll shut down their fishing a little bit. That's about it. Okay. Um, there's a raid. Hey, they're raiding our villagers by our tower. You got someone there to, to thwart that? I'll just put some people in the tower. Sounds good. Should be able to shut them down. Okay, so let's get this and get this. Outstanding. Oh, they're actually gonna ram. They're they're gonna get aggressive. They're gonna come for it. Okay, we, we we're gonna need to defend my base now. Okay. Cause they're actually getting pretty hard gonna go hard in the paint here, it looks like. I should be able to defend reasonably well, but... We're just going to mass archers. And let's do this. And uh, increase... Yeah, we're going to go for the trade. Obviously, at some point that could come into play. What a weird situation we've been forced into here, huh? Okay, they're coming with a lot of longbows and rams. You have anything here to help? Uh, not much, no. Okay. Um, Just gather what you can. Uh, get that horseman back. You got a horseman run again. Oh, big raid. They're killing a lot of bills. Uh, if you can... Oh, you better garrison those guys in the tower, yeah? There you go. We could be in danger here. They just got a really nice raid on you. For sure, gonna need some castle age, potentially. It's looking bleak. We don't have any gold in our base, so it's like we have to overextend to get it, which is problematic. Hopefully I can defeat the English here. That's going to be our best bet. Uh, do we need any of this? I don't think so. Is, we, is there any food nearby too? We're just so sparse on everything in this spot. It's just a bleak spot. Okay, let's move in. Pop some of these guys. Send him back to the Shadow Realm. You packing up shop? Oh, watch out. The raid's coming towards your base. Get ready for it. Yep. Oh, okay. Let's get back. And we need these to be doing you. Perfect. And you just go get on the food here. I can almost go Castle Age. Not that it would matter. I don't think... Yeah, Horseman, Horseman. Thankfully, the Ottomans just get like a ton of free units. Okay, here they come. 42 archers. They got more archers than me, but I have better unit variety, so I might be able to win the trade. We'll have to see. 
Okay, yeah, you just target the rams down, yeah? Okay, gonna have to pull back into the base. Okay, let's get back. Fight under the tower, just let him have the outer tower. Not that we have too much choice. Ooh, this is looking bleak, dude. I might be able to sneak a landmark somewhere else on the map and rebuild, but that's basically what it's looking like here. You got one what? I'm sending the, uh, my, uh... We, okay, I'm making the great exodus now, bro. So can you give me, can you give me a little bit of food? Uh, a very little bit. Yeah, I need like 60. Actually, I, I don't even, it won't even let me send it. I don't have enough to send. Shit, okay, I'm gonna have to find a food source. Oh boy, guys. We can't, we can't deal with just the longbows. And not having gold, so we gotta flee the scene. This is where legends are made. So my villagers won't die unless you die too, right? Oh my god. Alright. Yeah, we got a pretty dry spawn. It's okay though. It's okay. We're still gonna scrap. We still have some eco. <laughs> Abandon yield empire. You might want to try and bring some of your buildings, but don't run them the same direction we're retreating. Oh, I know. I'm actually leaving my town center behind us. The Dude, there's people reaching Imperial Age right now in this game. We just have to become the rats in the corner, dude. That's the goal. Okay, so let's go set up this tower here. Let's gather some food for a second. I just need to gather food. Oh, hello. I actually have some in the base. Okay, we're, we're fine. I can just cancel. I still have a defense force. Uh, doubles the Imperial Council bonus, the armory here. Hey, is there anyone in that corner? Are you able to scout it? What I'm trying to find out now. Like, am I? do I need to panic and build a landmark right now? Probably, right? I've got two landmarks still alive. Okay, so I'm just going to set this up here, because screw it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot. Look at the situation we're in. Oh my god. All right. Now we just need to hope and pray that like all those like strong factions just kill each other. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. And hope they don't like care about us. Oh, I don't have enough for a TC at the moment. Okay, I need to like get some of you guys here. Some of you guys here. God, I really hope there's nobody in this corner, dude. Do you see the haggard walls I'm putting up for us? To make sure we aren't followed. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we got away. Dude, what if we win this game? <sighs> if we win this one, I, you, I might have to retire. From the yeah, you just have to retire for all time, yeah. It's not going to get better. Okay. Um... Looks like there's a Khan scouting around. Hopefully he doesn't, like, find us here. We do have Castle Age. We got Castle Age at about the same time as them, which is funny. Come on, finish this. Don't worry, I'm gonna have Mangonels for us. I still have an army. Oh boy. We're gonna need, like... Oh, man, this is so shady, dude. Yeah, this is, um... Do you have any stone you can give me? <laughs> no, I do not. I'm just trying to look, dude. I'm just trying to secure us. Cause Good, if they show up, then you know we don't, we don't have much to defend with except my couple archers that I have. Oh, come on, boys! <laughs> yes, hide your silver tree in the corner. Hey, look at that! We, we, we beat someone to Castle Age, despite losing our entire main base. Okay. Yes! Is it secret? Is it safe, precious? I literally uh, sent a uh, stables to go into their base and just set it there. And yeah, and you're just... You, you, oh, look! The scout stables! You gotta talk some smack. Tell them to fear the stable. 
Okay, okay, okay. Do a little bit of this. Once you have enough stone for a TC, we're chilling. So I know that might have seemed like a poor stone investment, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So now what we do is we just try and reestablish some, some semblance of an economy and uh, hope they're not stream sniping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's basically it. All right, so Janissaries, military schools. Janissaries and knights, hmm. For each military school at the Landmark Town Center. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna be. I'll just save it until I can figure it out. Uh, military schools that could be built. Okay. Setting up a little escape route for us. Look how comfortable our little base is, dude. You have I to admit. I'll just produce so many sheep, we don't even need room for I, the farm. That's right, man. I'm, I'm, I feel like we're back in this game. He says the stables can say. See, this is good. They need to be laughing at us, thinking we're just a meme, which we are at the at this point. But we are. But you know, we got to keep it that way. Okay. I have a manganel popping out, so if anybody shows up, they're going to meet rocks to face. Uh, yes. Sorry, you can't hear him super well. I've turned up his volume literally like. Oh God! Look! Look! Silver tree in the corner. Watch out. Send. Oh no. He's Imperial, so I almost don't want to, like, garner his ire, you know? Maybe just try and escape with it, yeah? Yeah. Actually, that, uh, that wolf is going to do the job for me. I know. I Should I kill that other worker? Uh, I think they realized it didn't work and they're just leaving. They're just leaving? Okay. I'm going to leave it packed up for now. I'm building a TC, bro. We just have to be like annoying so nobody like thinks it's worth it to kill us, you know? Hey, Turn, I'm gonna put some sheep right here next to your meal. Oh, look at that, dude. That's nice. Look at that. Sharing is caring, dude. All right, we got the TC coming. Gonna build another one after that as soon as I can. I need to have my Metter go scout. He's gonna go see what's going on. Do you think Teal's nearby or they were just... Oh, wait, Teal's on the other side of the map. Why is he walling here, dude? Why did he know that my... Thing was Stream sniping, bro. Probably. Yeah, that was absolutely... <laughs> because, I mean, there was no reason for him to be in that corner. Yeah, well, unless... unless. I mean, he, maybe he was just looking to see if there was a sieve there, but... Mm. Hey, we got a new corner. This is good. Let's uh scout around, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That part of the machine is working again. He's just got a couple lumberjacks here. I'll just shoot, take him down real quick. Screw it. We're about to bust a hole through our wall, too. Through the Great Wall of Haggard, as it should be called. I'll, I'll, I can rebuild it. I, that was for the immediate threat in case they were pursuing us. Oh, you're good. Yeah, so I, I don't think we need it as much. I'm gonna build an Ovo. You're gonna build an Ovo? Yeah, you're going for it? Yeah, up here, there's a big fat stone node. Okay, looking good. Oh, they're trading on the south now. Look at them, dude. I wonder how deep they're trading. Clearly not all the way to us. Hmm, I should probably re-wall us here, man. Yeah. So do you want to go, is there, there's not really too many other lumber choices. Um, no. Go up and start working on the lumber choice. Yeah, we should be okay. They're clearly trading somewhere. But like, we have to just ignore them because we, we don't want to draw their ire. We have to be the rats, you know, like the Skaven. <laughs> just try and get Imperial, try and get some trade going somehow. And hope for the best. Like, see, people are just now getting imp, and we were completely destroyed, and... Oh, hello. Who's knights of those? DC? What's he doing here? Okay, we better, um, get this wall up. So, pull your bills back. Yeah. Uh, your lumber villagers, pull them back. Because there's just some random knights roaming, and if they find our little Helm's Deep here, that's going to be very unfortunate. All right, I'm going to go... We can go lumberjack on the other side there. It looks pretty safe. Okay, I'm going to have to get, like, farms going, too. 
Okay, well, we can just do them here, I guess. You guys can start here. I'm going to go farm uh, up in the north a little bit. I think it's safer up there. Okay, so let's just get you guys going. Haven't been gathering food for a long time. <laughs> Are you, is, it, is that your town? Bro, you got a town center. Your main TC in the middle. I was, I was looking for that. I was wondering where it went. Run it to the north, like, and then cut back if you can actually escape with it. We don't want them to know we're actually still functional. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not bringing it straight back. Yeah, we need to, like, we need to just be, like, the in the shadow realm down here. I was, I was looking for, I was actually in the process of looking for <laughs> You just couldn't find it. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Step read out. It's time for some castle age, dude. Uh, do you have any, like, stone by chance? Probably not, right? Uh, like 150. Silver tree. Can you run silver tree up the top of the map here? Like, to the northwest? Like, up there? Uh, and I'll build the market in the bottom left corner. I think that's our best bet. What do you think? Yeah, that works for me. Sounds good, dude. More walls before farms? Yeah, no, no kidding. I, I need I need a little bit of everything here. I'm gonna get some military schools going so we can just get the free units, firstly. Maybe get a keep going, too. Okay, so let's start setting up some walls. Ah, uh, they're gonna get the uh They're gonna get the TC, don't worry about it. It was it was doomed, bro. The TC that was not meant to be. Should have just like set it to somebody else's base, let them go with it. <laughs> just kite them to it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's do this. So we can actually get knights at our school. Oh, they actually chased it. Wow. That's pretty aggressive. Yeah, they just, like all the way up there. All right. So I'm building us a great wall to secure our glorious nation in the corner. The, the lords of the corner. All right. So we don't need spearmen here. Got to make sure they're producing the right stuff. Start setting up farms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks good. Take this down. Oh, you're set. Are you sending a villager to go repair it? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna <laughs> see if they're paying attention. Yeah, try and get the freebies. Let me know when you got silver tree, and I'll. I'm gonna start building traders just preemptively, and uh, we'll try and get that that juicy comeback. You can't give stone as Mongols. Oh, good to know. Okay. No, I can give stone. He he gave me some last stone. game. Last game yeah, he did. I can give it. I just can't buy it. Yeah. Oh, dude, I have triple mangoes too. Dude, look at us. We're we're in the corner doing our thing. I think they left my TC alone. I kind of want to go try and salvage my landmarks down there, but there's not much of a point. Uh, I'm wondering if they built something down there. Yeah, I don't want to like let them know we're still alive. Yeah. Because like we're actually kind of getting back in, not to like a winning spot, but like Stranger Things have happened, you know. Yeah, I mean, look, look at last night's game where Uravity built a wonder, then almost died, and then came back and built another one. I know. Well, yeah, they let him live there. I just, like, I guess, suppose this was, like, the same. You can't let him live. He's too strong. Well, I mean, they have, like, teal right on their border. So I have to assume that they didn't want to, you know, go too all in. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go explore the side of the map. Somebody in chat suggests we build another stable in their base. I like that idea. No, because then they'll then they'll know. <laughs> they'll be they'll be awfully suspicious. Okay, so the farms are coming back up, which is good. Let's get that. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know Metters could attack. I could just play the drums. There's like a random prelate, so maybe don't go like all the way up. Let's try and be like here, maybe like where I just banged. Uh, purple's got like a whole like, slew of uh, uh, like Nengadai just riding by out there. Well, it's a good thing we have mass stone walls. <laughs> yeah, my silver tree is not in them. <laughs> yeah, Mangudai can't kill buildings quick though, so. Yeah. I don't know why he'd be over here. I don't know. I'm gonna just set up right about where oh, I am. Look, look, they just, they just discovered our walled empire. <laughs> 
All right, I better start getting a friggin' standing army here. Okay, I found Green's Empire up in the north. Okay. Uh, they, they found my uh, Avu. Okay, it's fine. They won't get into our empire easy unless there's like a chopped hole in the wall. Oh, which there might be here. Shit. Okay, yeah. Some horsemen, some Mangrodai. I'm just gonna start spamming Janissaries because they're good against all those units. Alright. God, don't they have better things to do? Shit. Apparently not. <laughs> Is it, isn't there other world powers to fight? Apparently no one is fighting each other except for us. No, well, we we fight is a, is a bit of an over over. Well, no one left to die except for us. Exactly. All right. Okay, he's leaving. Oh, look, your rune town center is like is perfect. Yeah, he keeps attacking it every. Oh, there's a whole. It's being a spy for us. We now know that there's more Mangu die out there. We could definitely hold them off with our stone walls. Cause like it's gonna t it would take some okay they're fighting in the north let's go we got to set up that trade dude let's uh yep I'm, I'm getting it. I had moved it so that they wouldn't see it, but now I'm gonna set it up now. okay so what I'm gonna do is set up a, a gatehouse and then I'm gonna get that stone and build like a great wall with which our where our traders can run now that he's scouted let's hope he's not gonna scout again for a while yep. right I have this okay what does this do. Janissary is not very good. Increases production speed, military schools, siege engines to be garrisoned. Uh, yeah, that one's pretty good. We're going to want that eventually. Okay. So we got way too many on gold here. So have you come and then jump up here. Do that. I beat you to Imperial. You did, dude. Good. That's sad. You got to do it. Well, I've been building all these... Eco, right. trying to get this infrastructure up. Yeah, get, get your traders going. Um, silver trees are there. Okay, let's do it. Let's see how much we get from this. Just the shadiest of trade routes. We're, we're back in business, sort of. I got farms. Okay, gold's, gold's, gold's running out. Uh, do we have any other gold in here? Not really, shit. The nearest gold in the, is in the middle, which is very there's, precarious. Yeah, there's some out there by my TC. There's a lot by my TC, actually. There's like three pretty hefty nodes out there. Yeah, okay. That's what I like to hear. Uh, Alright, so now I can go Seagate Castle. Which is going to be pretty sweet. So let's turn it in. I'll move it up further. Let's see how much trade we get from this. Yeah. Yeah, I, ha I have to be... 57. We might want to go further up if we can, a little further. But let me build the Seagate Castle first. Yeah. I'm going to build it, like, right on the path. And get the influence going. Like, that should be pretty good. Let's do that. Here we go, man. This is the time of heroes. Okay, we ran out of gold here. Let's move up. Ay, ay, ay. Very shady. You have any wood left? Yeah, wood's getting sparse too. Gonna have to move out of the safety of our little rat's nest in the corner. We must expand. Oh, Victor. Victor oh. has fallen. Wow. Look at that. You know, we weren't the first ones to die, which is certainly uh, saying how is something. That, how is that possible? His teammate's not dead. Maybe he rage quit. I don't know. So you can see where I'm continuing the Great Wall. <laughs> So what was Vic, he said let's go AFK for the next four hours. Oh, apparently his Wi-Fi dropped. Oh, that's too bad. Well, that's hopefully, hopefully a lesson learned to not not play on Wi-Fi. It's a, it's a classic gamer mo mistake. Okay, you see where the peak of my little great wall is? Can you build move the silver tree up there? Yep. <laughs> Yes! Yes! We will have our vengeance! Alright, Janissary is going to need to get up there. I actually have a good army now, shit. Those traders are hunting, dude. You better watch out. They're coming for blood. Apparently, uh, Allied's not doing well. Good. We just have to let everybody else, like, you know, do all the lifting while we, while we get our bearings back. Time for the dreaded Ottoman trade empire, dude. Look at this. 
I got my step. Can you go? Can you go over. further up, like to the peak of the cat, the wall that I'm building? Oh yeah. I didn't want to go further because green's up there, so I figured this was this is the good spot. That worked. All right. <laughs> We're just gonna come out with a wonder, and then, like, oh. <laughs> that shit would be so funny, bro. Mm hmm. Looks good. You, uh, this is why you play with the Mongolian player, sir. Exactly. You're, car you're carrying with your mobility here. They're just rats in the corner. Dude, Mongols definitely know how to party. Okay, I'm setting up a keep here. Okay, they didn't get their gold because of the because of the remove, which is fine. Come on, traders. There you go. All right. Yeah, see, that's the trade route I'm talking about. That's the good stuff right there. Seagate Castle will not buff your units, unfortunately, but mine will be super fast. That's all right. I'm going to... Uh, I'm getting uh, EM Network going, so... Sweet, dude. All right. So, uh, I guess it's going now. We're still alive. Which is crazy. Oh, look at the, the location of those uh, sacred sites, Darren. Yeah, are they pretty prime in the middle? They're like all on top of each other. Do they call to us once more? Possibly. I mean, at least if the wonder wonder game gets crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, that should handle our food. Can you move that gear um, over here? So I can have my farms look a little nicer. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Let the hate flow. I need houses. I've been, I've been just so excited with the fact that we were not dead that I haven't been help built houses in a while. All right. So we got a decent little standing army here. Got that going. You guys going. Get you guys going here. Which is great. Just gathering all the stone possible. Get a cannon emplacement there, because why the hell not? And uh, what is my eco at? 121, geez. All right. Well, I have like 3,000 food. I think we'll be good for food for now. Military schools doing military school things, just producing free units, which I love. We need to get our Janissaries elite, at least. And then we need to get, like, spear tech. I think, like, infantry-based armies are a little bit better with these guys. Yeah. That's... Dude, our empire does look like a giant dong. That's, that's... <laughs> it's a very astute and accurate. The mighty Ottoman dong is coming for our opponents. We are erect. The erect Ottoman uh, Mongolian dung. Yes. Dude, look at this. Look at this trade, dude. We gotta just keep just pumping the jam on this trade. We're gonna be so loaded. Okay, just get upgrades. Why the hell not? Uh, let's start taking a little bit of ground in the center. I'm gonna build a keep like by your little new base there to just like strengthen it. And uh, yeah, let's get you. Sure, why not? And then we need more wood. All right, guys, we're doing it. We're not dead. We're actually like a formidable power now, sort of. I don't know. I don't know how the rest of the game's going. So military schools, Imam's Hill area, matter at the landmark increases. Uh, okay, and then. Military school production by 25%. Yeah, yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay, so military school is going to want to produce Janissaries. We can start producing Janissaries at all our military schools, and then one of them can produce a matter. That's typically what you want to be doing. All right. So we need infantry to deal with all the cav, protect our artillery and whatnot. I think my con glitch. <laughs> the auto dong will spike. The auto dog. <laughs> oh man, I love it. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, do you think those guys are gonna. That they're gonna be so shocked probably when they find out how alive we are over here? One of them is less alive than us, so. We, uh, we, uh, we outlasted him, huh? 
Yeah. That's pretty hilarious. Okay. Okay, let's get you going. Okay, gotta keep here. Sacred's in the middle. Oh, someone died. Yeah, Victor died, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you want to just go down and steamroll purple just for vengeance? <laughs> just, ah, uh, just roll down. Terran Alliance, we died. Oh, wait, hold on. In the beginning. We're literally spectating. I have to, I have to do what Allied always does, just like deception oh, yeah. in politics. Look, look, let's see if they believe it. <laughs> Bro, we died in the beginning. Yeah, we have blacksmiths by all of our military tech. Yeah, and also by the university too. Yeah, we're good. Oh my god, that shit's so funny, bro. Oh, this is special. We're still going, dude. We're still going strong. The Seagate Castle trade is, is dreaded across the realm. Oh my god, dude. I think they probably believe us too. I think they I think they would. The fact that they probably haven't seen us. Yet. Nobody's seen us. We're like the Sith. We just disappeared from the galaxy and then we come back. <laughs> you see, they're trying to get an alliance, dude. We gotta just save up for a wonder. Oh bro, that's what's happening. Okay. So, Gunhound? Yes. Wonder right here. Alright, that's the plan. Okay. We just let them kill each other a little bit more. I'm gonna go raid Purple's base just for fun with a couple knights that I want to get rid of. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. You should be good. I'll get troll, some sir. Troll. We'll get some spears coming out too. Yeah, I don't need more vills, so let's cancel all that. Let me know if you need any resources. I'm... I'm decent. I've got like 9,000 food and like a thousand of everything else, but that's just because I'm like constantly producing stuff right now. Sweet, dude. Sweet. I kind of want to go repair my other landmarks down there. What does that even give to me? The Sultani uh, yeah. Trade Network. Yeah, it's not even worth worth it. Actually, it might be worth sending a worker just so I can not die potentially as easy. Yeah, that's true. So I'll just send two workers to go do that. Oh, wow, dude. There was a huge war here. Do you have your military infrastructure up and running, by the way? Uh, I'm getting it going now. Look, oh, there's purple. He's still alive, dude. My knights were surrounded and killed. <laughs> what was he killing him with? Ah, oh, just dang die and shit. The classic oh combo. My con glitched out. Is he just stuck somewhere or what? No, no, it, it won't spawn a new one. Oh, no. Well, he had a good run. Yeah. You know, he he survived many, many phases of this game. Yeah, it's probably... How many traders do I have right now? Let's see. 32? Okay, I think that's enough. The tactical rat's nest strikeout. Yes, that's the plan. So he's still very much alive. Victor Victor was the guy whose Wi-Fi dropped out. The One of our original foes who bum-rushed us with the longbows. Yeah, I think just saving up for a wonder, maybe. The fact that the Northern Alliance is dying and Purple is alone. Because that means that, yeah, Pink would have to attack us from all the way across the map, bro. You know? Yeah. Oh, there's a random teal army coming towards our base. You see it? Look, look. What the hell is that shit? <laughs> what the heck is that? I don't know. He's just like, I'm going to roll up there and crush him. I think people are just confused that we're still alive. Yeah, see the, the question mark's coming? I don't know if that's for us. Okay, there's some stone down here. Let's go get that. Get you guys. Uh, we need to get some stables tech in case, you know, I don't have the right army comp for whatever we're fighting. So we need to be able to produce cavalry. Cool. So that should be adequate military infrastructure for defense. How are you looking on stone right now, by the way? Or not stone, but your other primary resources. Uh, a lot of food. Um, I got a lot of wood coming in. Not quite there yet. How's your uh, military looking? A uh, lot of uh, about tw like twenty hand cannoneers. I mean nothing. Okay, okay. As long as you got something in case we get attacked. Oh my god, Teal, why, why? Okay. There's like a random English longbow legion over here. I don't know. He's, he's been raiding us all game. Not raiding, but like kind of like in our neck of the woods. <laughs> Look at our trade going, dude. It's such a meme. I love it. 
Okay, let's buy a little bit of stone. Let's get the burning oil. Look, he's going to the Seagate castle. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. All right, let's get you guys. All right, time to pay the troll toll, buddy. Oh yeah, let the gunpowder flow. All right, let's go here. Looking good. Took him out. I'm just building random towers all over the map just to get vision. Oh, you're good, dude. Gonna try and take some map control. Just so we kind of know what's going on in the old neighborhood. Building some cannon towers around my little forward base here. Um, so let's start, like, planning for the wonder. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you see, look, purple's to the south. He's, he's, oh, man, wonder coming in. Okay. From, from DC. Okay. Do we... We have to help. Wait, he, he canceled it? I don't see it being built. It, it looks like it got canceled. Right? Because it was over there in the top where the trade was going, but... It looks like it got canceled. Yeah, it looks like he canceled it. I think he figured it might be too early. Uh, I think he just like... Yeah, it might have been a misclick. Wonder misclick? We might want... Oh, do we want to pull the trigger on the wonder? There's still so many people in this game. I don't think yeah, we do. I think it's I think it's like that they might be able to win, but in general I think it would be a bad idea. I'm still and I mean it's not exactly some weak opponents in there. Yeah, exactly. Unless there's a dreaded smurf in. Who knows? Alright, let's get the cavalry ready to go. Biology. Sure, siege engine upgrades. Yeah, garrison up. Get the siege all ready to go. Alright, I'm going to start moving to the middle like and putting keeps by the sacred sites. Dude, our trade is popping though, dude. This is some good stuff. Yeah, food's looking good. Yeah, he did build a wonder. He just built it in the corner. Alright. So this is where we have to... <sighs> Sacred's an option, dude, but like, there's no way the other teams will let us get that, probably. Okay, wonder time. Hey, whose team is blue on? Uh, it's blue and green. Okay, so blue, I don't need to kill blue's field workers here. No, no, no. We gonna go after the wonder? I, I don't see any, like, verbalization of that. Blue and I are dead in the water. Well, then let's just Ooh. take the center, then. Yeah, should we just should we just take the sacreds? Yeah, it, yeah it just got annihilated by DC. Let's just take the center. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Um, so if you can do something, maybe not exactly what you want us to do, but I'm just gonna go pop his villagers over here if he's so dead. Okay, let's just entrench the middle. Look at this. Those villagers look sure look alive to me, dude. Look at Allied, he's like playing possum like he's actually dead. Okay, uh, I'm building religious units to grab the sacreds. <laughs> Stop. Oh, well, there's two. Okay, let's fight him. Let's fight him. Oh, we're gonna wreck this army. Oh, yeah, buddy. He just like randomly shows up with some longbows every now and then, you know? Okay, let's get you guys here. It's a very, very strange um, spot. Sansipahi. Okay, so we'll finish this. Uh, can you pull and start setting up towers by all this shit? Okay, so let's take these bills out. We don't need the food at the moment. Did that not get the religious characters out? Oh shit, it's because my military is overproducing. Okay, we still have a little bit of time, right? Yeah, we do. The military school is producing quite a bit. Okay, so we got the three religious characters ready to pop out. Don't need the food workers. Okay, I'm going for one. Going for two. I'm going for three, baby. Round two, let's try again. Oh my god, this is so haggard, dude. This is not gonna work. And now authentic bit the wonder did. We just have to hope that like allied and company like don't they have to ally with the haggard lords of bronze. <laughs> we just have to hope the 
the old ways stay true, you know? Oh shit, what's going on down there? Oh, the Mangudai Legion. They're back. Okay, we need to get these damn sacreds. Okay, so now we can start producing the Janissaries, Sipahi. Did we get all three sacreds? Okay, you got, have your army on the east. I'll stay here, yeah? So you go hang out by the east one. Oh, here comes Pink. That is not a happy army. Nope. That army looks pissed. Okay, R bring them, bring to, bring them to the Janissaries, dude. Okay, okay. They've, they've learned that. The, watch out, watch out. Don't overextend. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Dude, this is not gonna work, bro. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Oh god, the Menger die on the on the west. Uh, I'm going to try and intercept him, but the Menger die don't really do much, honestly. They're not the big threat here. But like, if we oh man, is Allied doing coming for us? No, I don't think so. Okay, that is a shitload of knights there, dude. Okay. Thankfully, we just have a hell of a lot of gold, so I can just spam these cannons on everything. Are the Mongols going to our base? What are they trying to do? It's weird. All right, you're getting attacked there pretty hard. I'm coming to help. Yep. It's my military supply, 111, which is pretty big. Mongols are like just attacking random ass towers. Shit. Hopefully, they don't get get the decap here. Okay, I have units chilling on the other sites as well. Like, I think it's just the doomed. Like, everyone just has, like, some sort of a freaking wonder, like. But we're, like, it's, what sucks is we're the public enemy number one here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going back to the other side to make sure we don't get, like, backdoored or some shit. Oh, here comes Teal and some more. It's okay, we got double keeps up here. It's going to be hard for them to break that without siege equipment. All right, I'm coming. Just keep uh, rallying troops over as much as you can. Dude, that trade we have is so foul. Okay, I need to like get walls up or something. That would be the MLG play for sure. All right. This damn like these damn berry bushes are screwing it all up. Okay, pulling back. Uh, are we gonna get back? I mean, if Emperor Jaren and Allied are truly dead in the water, then. Yeah, we'll have to see. All right, I'm pulling back to make sure like nothing gets kind of shut down here. Yeah. Dude, it's gonna be so funny if we win this. I'm just gonna cackle, dude. How much? Um, can you make more static defenses? Can you just pull like a thousand villagers and start making them? Yeah. We're gonna need more of that if we want a chance. Okay, French knights are riding around taking big casualties. Coming back over here. Okay, so we're just trying to wall from the south. Yeah, just and make sure immediately you get cannon placements on all of them if you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, men at arms, whatever. We just need bodies. Okay, I need to get some dudes up on the point. Shit, they might get the decap on us here. Do you have anything you can move up onto the point? Not any ink fast. They're all. Shit, we need to kill these French knights quick. Okay, I'm moving some dudes up to try and get him. Get on the point. Oh, it's too hard. The French knights are in the way. Shit. Even with the towers there, I got a meter on it. He's just like the last samurai. Hey, just keep moving units up. We have a couple on there right now. Okay, at this point, I don't know. One of these wonder champions is going to win. Because, yeah, we're behind the time now, so... Okay, we got to get... We got to go after them now. Yep. So what we have to do to have any chance is we have to. Man, I had some units standing kind of idle there. Is we have to talk. Is the first. Yeah, we have to talk the other guys into deleting their wonder. You you want to start in the politics with that? Yeah. Well, I'll muster the army. Yeah, it would have been hard to hold too. I assume Allied or would have done something. So who else has a wonder? Um, um, it's oh, it's the it's the Mongols in the south. Okay, I'm just gonna keep the steamroller moving towards them. Yeah, we 
We almost came back. I'm, I, I'm, I guarantee allied tracks in them have some resources too. But we only have six minutes now, so that's going to be a tough hold. Or a tough push, I should say. I'm inside his base. Is he though? Trade down, Vils down? Okay, well. But it doesn't matter if he doesn't delete the wonder. You gotta let him know that. Well, I mean, he thinks he's gonna take this seat and then we're gonna, cause that was, that was the person who's in second place that I was talking to. So he thinks he's gonna take this seat and then. I don't think he's gonna get Dissy. yeah. Well, okay, there's some stuff. Oh, it's being backstabbed by Emperor Jarn. Okay, we gotta head south then. Let's head south. Yep. We got a 2v1, the Mongols. Uh-huh. Let's go here. Cut you off. Somebody did some damage to it. I don't know if they actually got it, though. No, I don't know if they did either. Mm. No, it looks like they got some horsemen to it. Okay, we got to keep pushing then. But, like, red... The problem is, yeah, then purple is just going to get it down there. Let's head over. Okay, let's set this up. Damn, that was so close. Yeah. Bad awareness on my part. I, I think I had some idle units that could have helped. Okay, so Mongols are like kind of entrenched down there, but it's tricky. Uh, how are you guys doing north? Okay, Authentic destroyed his wonder. Okay, he destroyed it. He deleted his wonders. Yeah, so we could just go gung-ho here now. Okay. You, got, you probably just want to go Mass Lancer. Okay, so how can we get into this base? Let's see if we can find a way. Okay, so we got the cav coming in. A lot of artillery. You might want to just start considering the Ramstein too. I don't know why it wouldn't let me degroup that guy earlier. Okay, I'm at their gates. I'm gonna try and blitz through here. Okay, you guys just uh, can just be deleted for now. Gonna hit this. It's gonna take a while to get through, though. I do have the great bombards and whatnot, but. All right, you got your hand counters up with me? Yeah. It depends on how well this goes with the other civs. Yeah, I don't want to capture that right now. It's gonna create discord in our ranks. Okay, so blasting through. The dreaded Ottoman Great Cannon is going. Sadly, we don't have great supply lines here. I don't know if like I would have enough time to really get them going functionally, so we're just going to have to try the old-fashioned way. Okay, we're at the gates. Hopefully, the Chads in the north are doing some work, too. Did he just build another wonder? He built another wonder. What is he doing? Oh, it's probably because I grabbed the sacred sites. Oh, okay. Here we go. We got a fight on the choke. This is good for us since we have a thousand mangonels, but I don't know if we can really do a whole lot without reinforcements. Oh my god, the guns are blasting. All right, let's get the mangoes. Let's pop in here. Oh, big damage into those hand cannoneers, dude. Oh my god. Look at those guns. You got hand cannoneers coming? Yeah, there's a couple back there. We actually put a big dent in their army, dude. That was a big beatdown they took there. Okay. Sipahi, sure, why not? The dreaded humping animation. All right, let's get these longbows. All right, so unless somebody else has some trick up their sleeves, we're probably toast. I think we are in some danger. Is there any sense in building supply lines? Not really. Uh, we don't have enough time. All right, gathering what troops I can. It's got a lot of knights, a lot of longbows. Classic comp. Probably went with a wonder via the, um, what's it called? Okay, we got to get our meta back. Is there anybody who's close to getting that? I mean, it's two minutes. Two minutes. There's some guns back there. Did the Grand Bombard turn? I, I'm not sure. Yeah, it, it was it was doing doing okay. Come on, Janissaries. Janissaries are really good against French Knights, actually. They do incredibly well. See, they are putting a ton of hand cannoneers right there. That's true. We might get one more run at it. Like, one more just, like, blitz. Yeah, we maybe could have done it with a slightly better defense on the Sacreds. Maybe. It would have been hard, though, because the, the Mongol player hadn't attacked us yet, so I think he would have attacked us as well. Just a little too soon. 
All right, let's push. Let's get these longbows. See what we can do, bro. Let's go. We got to keep the pressure on just in case somebody else is doing something. You never know. Go, go, go. The dreaded wonder in the south. Man, I'm surprised we got this far, though, for sure. It was looking very bleak in the beginning. It sucks that his buddy lost wi his Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. That was a big shift in power. Okay, one minute. Let's make our last hoorah. <laughs> yeah, I can see what you guys are saying, though, in chat. The, um, the Ottomans seem really damn good. Like, between the trade... And the like their unit quality and just some of the other mechanics of like free units. I really like them actually. I think they they'll be a sieve. I'll try and play an FFA more often. They seem really really good. All right, let's go. We got we got a minute. You ready to make a mad dash in here? Oh, there's some guns. I, I hear some noises over there. I hear some noises. Okay, we got a, a little defense here. You just run by with your cavalry, yeah. Doesn't look like anybody's back there at the moment, but see if you can get your lancers. Swing them south and then cut up. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're making one last run of it. The Sipahi with their cool howling wings gonna be moving across. Ooh, that looks like an entrenchment, dude. Well, this is why French are so good. Oh, these are English keeps, but... He was probably feeding his ally. Oh! I love that an ability called Fortitude makes your units take more damage. It's hilarious. Hey, we made progress, though. We got kind of close to it. GG, man. It was a good run. Yeah, there's, that was a good run, but man, look at that. Yeah. For the first time all game, I've hit the pop cap. They must have gotten dunked on really hard. Those two. Oh, it looks like they're... Oh, Purple is down there. Purple, purple is getting close, actually, the Mongols. He's like right over there. You'll see when the map reveals in a second. Yeah, look, see? Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, that shit was entrenched as hell, though. Very weak from the south side, though. Definitely the, the weakest point. Yeah, GG, man. It was a good game. Oh, man. <laughs> Tell DC to delete the wonder so you can focus on Authentics. Yeah. <laughs> we might have had a chance of winning the Sacred, but it was kind of bleak because even though it looked like it was going well, like Purple hadn't committed yet, and those two hadn't marshaled their armies. Um... Maybe we could have, maybe. Like if we had stonewalled it quicker, like fully entrenched it before we went for it, but we didn't have much time to act. Yeah, and it was hard to defend all those angles. We had a lot of cannon towers up here. Definitely should have just had my army more rallying over here. Maybe we had a chance, a slim chance, but we had one. Yeah, I think we could, I think, have held the sacreds if we had had better supply lines. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe. I think we... Because my, my guys were having to, you know, I was doing hand cannoneers, but they were having to walk up there. And... Yeah, it was a journey. It was, it was yeah. yeah, oh yeah, good wonder defense. They had a great position too, like, and that's a big factor too in these games, is um you can see they have the whole river, like, obstructing, like, mass mo movement, so they can barricade the rivers into oh, chokes. Yeah. yeah, so they were, they were literally on their own little island over here. Fire Lancers, maybe, if you had, like, 100 pop Fire Lancers, probably not, though, with the, the density of units they have back here. I, I don't think you'd be able to get the bodies past. GG, though. That was a really really good run, man. We, we had a good one. We should have been dead in that game, for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But we uh, we, we got our haggard trade route. Dude, look at look at the Mongol player's trade route, though. On the bottom of the map. You see that? Yeah. He had a similar trade route to us, how we just like have these like huge long lines down the, down the uh, map there. If you look at it, he was actually almost up to our base. Um, he was just on the other side of the trees uh where we had built our little like emergency base yeah he was just to the other side of it yeah ggs man that was a lot of fun dude we'll be back which um which shift do you find most most boring you know i don't know like i feel like the abbasid don't have any like super fun mechanics i mean the trade wing stuff is cool but the fact that you only get two landmarks makes them a little bit like boring for me but yeah it's something fire festival spawn yeah it was totally screwed yeah no for sure we we had a rough spawn but they got us pretty good i mean they were they had a better comp early like english longbows with tower pressure right against our tc it's like we weren't going to hold that so when we when we scattered to the north and made our new empire it was it was a good oh, wow. attempt uh jarn and uh allied were not lying uh they, they get pounded they're like their unit counts they just like 
you know, spike and then just drop drastically. <laughs> we um, were we were up there. Look at our scores, dude. You can see the yellow and the red. We were kind of like cruising up there yeah. in the, the happy, you, you happy where, times. Uh, where we finally got our footing and then when we started our trade, it just sharp spike up. Yeah, dude. The trade is just gross. Yeah, look at that. We like passed we passed blue, we passed green. Passed pink for a while actually. In DC, we were strong a little bit more eco wise than him for for a period. Yeah. That that trade is nuts. Cool man. Well, what's next on the docket? What do we have for our uh, our next tournament? Have you have you had any any thoughts on what we're what we want to do? I hadn't um, really put anything definitive. Um, I know we'd been talk uh, wanted to talk to you about uh, if we wanted to do a tournament next, or if we wanted to take the time and do a kind of like a just a specialty stream of uh, like we were talking about King of the Hill. Yeah. Um, well, we can, I'll do that regardless. Like just on a random day, I'm just going to fire up the stream and say like first come first serve King of the Hill. So, um, we'll probably just do it that way. So we could definitely do either. Yeah. It's a shame we can't have 12 people. Imagine like three V three V three V three, how nuts that would get. Oh my God. I think like computers would explode. Yeah. And we'll, we'll have to, um, we'll do a poll. We'll have to think about to the King of the Hill because unlike, total war where you're the host as the observer and yeah that's a pain seeing because anybody who is going to be the existing player somebody on their friends list immediately can jump God, in i can't place. believe relic hasn't added that right it seems yeah. like such a like that's like a feature from 2003 you know warcraft the frozen throne having spectators so maybe i mean worst case maybe i start a uh, sign up list on um you know, on the discord and yeah. then, you know, randomly pick somebody from the list, be like, all right, you won now just number one through 24, you know, 13. You're up. I, th I think you're we'll do, I think what we'll do is we'll have like for the King of the Hill. Hey, Victor, thank you for the mm -hmm. five. I really appreciate it. We'll do like a Bronzodia King of the Hill where it's like okay. only the Bronzodia masters can play. And then we'll have like a separate stream where it's like for like, you know, uh, like diamond and above or like platinum and above or whatever, like something like that. Right. Yeah, we can do that. That'd be fun. All right, dude. GG's. It was fun. We had a good run today, dude. First game was a really, really tight victory, and that one was was almost there too. It was good, considering how bad our start was. That was that was good. <laughs> we survived. We did. We went the distance. We're the boy who got away, dude. We're like the boy in all those revenge movies who like escapes and avenges his father. Did you see the Northmen? I have not seen it yet. Holy no shit, one. that movie's savage. It's um, it's with the Skarsgård brothers. Mm -hmm. Uh, the or not brothers, but one of them. Yeah, and he like you know his. Oh, I, I don't want to ruin it. It's a new movie, but it's it, it basically that's the premise. Yeah, I think it's on HBO. I, I need to watch it. It's it's like it's very brutal, and like there's moments where you're just like even the good guy, you're like, oh, that's kind of dark. Like it's one of those kind of movies, or quote good guy. Like no one's really that good in that movie. It's like, <laughs> I see Allied in there saying he can help host. Yeah, yeah, we'll, doing, we'll you know, King of the Hill and stuff. So for sure, it'll be fun. We'll get it we'll get it figured out. All right, brother. I'm gonna wind down. I think I think we I might do some one one v one here on stream to close it out. But uh, until next time, right, dude, we'll, we'll we'll be back for vengeance. The old boomers will get it one of these days. Absolutely. All right, brother. Thanks again for hosting, and we'll catch you later. Of course, brother. See ya. Hey, shout out to Gunhound for putting on the tournament. We're gonna close it out with a ranked game because I feel like tanking my record tonight. So let's do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I agree. I agree. Guess I'm watching that. Dude, Northman is... A, it's a brutal movie. It's brutal, yeah. Um, Victor, thank you for the fiber. Really appreciate it. Is that one of the Angry Birds? I think that's what that is, your picture. So what do we want to play here? I don't know. What save do you guys want to see? Do you want to see Malians? Let me put it to a poll. But we'll close out. Because that, that was pretty quick. We're at the 2 hours and 45 minute mark. So I think one more game will we'll do it. Dude, the games are super scrappy tonight. I couldn't believe Gunhound and I survived that. I, w I was concerned the Mongols were going to chase us down with their English allies, that they were going to come for us, but they, they probably just thought we were pounded into oblivion and it wasn't worth their time. Well, I was going to bed. That's right, man. There's always, there's always a little bit more action. Holy Romans? We'll put it to a poll, man. Let's see what you guys want. All right, so start a poll. Uh, Civ. HRE. Uh, Roos. I've been playing a bit of Roos lately. Malians are probably the one I've been playing the most. Or uh, English. Alright, you guys vote. 
What do you want to see? Let me know and it shall be done. HRE for Sigmar. Yesterday's thumbnail was on point. It was really good. They did the same thing in my game, but we didn't get away. <laughs> we well, we we left early. I think that's why we did it. Because Gunhad and I fled while like while our bases were pretty healthy, so they they had to take some time to kill our bases still. Hey Boogie, thanks for becoming a, a new member. Welcome, dude. The Dukes of Haggard growing numbers tonight, man. I know it's a it's a weird late night time, but I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you. And uh, let's see what it's gonna be. HRE or English is the uh, is the vote here. England, if you want, England, if you want. Oh yeah, I, I would say my HRE is pretty good. Rusa, I'm I'm okay with all four of these sifs. I would say maybe like English and HRE are my strongest though. Yeah, England is just mouth breathing. England's such a mouth breathing sieve. They're so easy to play compared to other sieves. Just like great food, good defense. Oh, the pit. Oh, we got Allied Trex. <laughs> he got us. All right. So what are we gonna play here? What do you guys want? I'm I'm waiting. I'm going to close the vote and like when the timer goes up so you guys can finish. You vote away, man. You vote away. For Germany, James. Malians, I, I kind of, I, I wanted you guys to vote for Malians here. But it looks like it's going to be Sigmar blessing this ravaged body. Good luck, have fun. Now, the problem with the pit is you can get the sacred sites really, really easy. This is like a super deli map, so we might just get wrecked. Yeah. But you guys voted Holy Romans. That's what it's going to be. England is... Uh, <laughs> I would have liked to have played England, for sure. Yeah. Allied is here. He was like the only other person in queue. So he's just like, here, here we go. Let's see what's up. Okay. So the game begins. Oh, that's right. We have to wait for his loading time. You want me to suffer? Oh my god. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? The treason. We even have a launch neck as our, as our avatar picture. So I guess it's fair. Uh, Mace boys aren't aren't that good against Delhi. Like Delhi just can rapid fire crossbows and war elephants. I don't know. Probably horseman spear. I'm trying to think of well, like what comp you would actually use against like Delhi and feudal. Because Delhi this just goes all in on the on the sites for sure. I'm surprised Malians were dead last. I really thought that's what you guys were gonna vote for for sure. But uh, apparently I was wrong. Yeah. All right, let's take these back. Drop the sheep off. We can wall the, the center one a little bit. You know, there's a, there is some counterplay, but this side is map is super good for Delhi. I, I played them here before. It's it feels real good, hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, let's go get this. All right, look at that. Look at that. Let's come here and here, and get this and this. Looks good. Kind of striking out on sheep, but we are seeing where the relics are, so that's nice. The dreaded Delhi will be here soon. Okay, sheep. Would like to have found more. He's going to definitely beat me in the sheep game. Yeah. All right, let's go down here. Grab these. Yeah, if only I could get some, like, Warhammer Fantasy HRE units. Like, you know. Like like a Templehof Luminarch to, like, one-shot the, uh, one the elephants. That'd be pretty sweet. All right. It looks like he went the other way, so. All right, let's go down here. See what's going on. We'll certainly be aging up a little bit quicker than them. You usually do when you play HRE. You're sitting pretty, pretty good. Sometimes there's sheep in the corner. It's worth, it's worth kind of scoping out and seeing what's going on. Now, where do we want our, uh, our Aachen? Probably right here next to these berry bushes is going to be the way. And uh, yeah, we're going to need to set up berry bushes, maybe. Sometimes there's sheep down there, not often. Okay. Nope, we definitely got owned in the sheep game. There was probably way more sheep on the other side. But we'll go Aachen right here next to the berry bushes. That should give us a decent food source. And uh, we still do have a sheep left. So if I if I just beeline it home, we should be able to get the sheep back in time. I would have liked to have done an Aachen by the wood line. If we could have gotten like a gold spawn back there, that would have been the ideal. 100%. Okay. Yeah, we're almost there. Come on. Could go through the middle, but I think we got to jam up. The dreaded deli pressure will come. The deli shop. Hey, oh, that's right. We can build feudal men at arms, can't we? Hmm. I always wondered about the application of them in this matchup. Like if they were worth it or... I don't know. All right, cheap. Let's go. Let's go scout the middle. See what that looks like there. We're very, very close to getting there. 
We'll be teching up in a couple seconds, which should be faster than Delhi, like straight up. It should be. Okay, scouting the middle out. Trying to see what's good in life here. See this? And build Dock and Chapel right there. Looks cool. Okay, scouting the Delhi lands. Got shot a little bit. Pull these vills in. Pull them over to food. Keep two here. And you guys need to go up there. Oh yeah, he definitely got more sheep than me. Could be worse. I don't think we idled villagers for too long, so that's good. Okay, Aachen Chapel's on the way. Let's go hug the back of the base here just to kind of see what his tech looks like. Usually Delhi is just always the same shit. It's just like like really heavy feudal pressure. That's like basically all they do. All right, so let's do this. Uh, it kind of sucks to spend 60 wood this early on that, but I think it is. Okay, so he's not that far behind us on the age up. Looks about right. We'll get you. Do this. Like that. And then we probably... I, I want to go stables, but I do feel like double barracks could be good too. Because men at arms are kind of like good at holding ground in general. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, Friar Chuck. You keep motivating him. We have to match his feudal pressure. So he might go fast castle. So we need to like see what he's building as soon as we... We need to we need to be chilling near his base. So you guys can jump on the berry bushes after that, which is going to be good. Probably going to want to get wheelbarrow. Though we do need a little bit more here, probably. What are, you, what are you up to, man? What do you got going on on this little base of yours? If I can keep him to just one sacred site, see how many he has on wood? That's a big tell of feudal aggression. Like a big tell. Yeah. I know, man. I feel you. So probably a stables is just prudent in general, just for map control and knowledge and being able to re respond to threats. But what is he going to do is the question. See, like proxying something, some big brain proxy. That would be pretty fun. Okay. So one stable for map control. We got the middle walled, which is going to be nice. He's going stable too. All right. Pretty standard. So I think we go spear horse, maybe? I don't, I don't know. We'll play it by ear. See what happens. I could do another great wall down here, um, especially considering there's two relics. That might actually be a good idea. But I don't want to, like, hamper my feudal pressure too much by doing that. So we got two relics here. Haven't scouted this side of the map. That's some Bronze Odia shit, that's for sure. He's going to have all those upgrades coming. Go get on gold. Do this. Uh, perfect. So it's on the way. All right, let's go see how much more he's building. This middle one will at least make that like a tricky, a tricky one for him to get, hundred percent. We're not gonna have the fastest of castle ages, that's for damn sure. Just some holy music being played there. Ah, uh, whatever. I, I like that idea actually. Okay, what is that? A, bla a, bla a blacksmith? Yeah. Okay. Very normal. Delhi gets free upgrades, so that's pretty good. All right, let's get you over here. A little bit of this. All right, looks good. We're going to get this landmark eventually, ladies and gentlemen. Mark my words. Okay, we don't even really need gold too much right now, so we'll just kind of pull back, and then you guys should be close enough to the TC. Take that horseman down. Get a little bit of pressure going here. And did he lose the horseman? I can't quite tell. All right, so pressure's on. We got a little raiding, so we're going to be idling each other's bills. And we have you guys garrisoned up because I'm a potato. Should be good. All right, so that's going. I do like that quite a bit. And excellence. Right, Spearman. Spearman. You guys move down and attack. Let's go attack here. Spears. Then we need to get some blacksmith upgrades to match him. Since it's going to be mainly like a feudal pressure type game. Alright, one horseman down. Let's chase the other one. Whilst maintaining a little bit of pressure over here. How dare you, dude. How dare you. Let's get you. Alright, so if we can kill these horsemen, that'd be nice. 
Oh no, he's gonna get it eventually. The dreaded villager has fallen. Oh well, we'll pull another one in. All right, so upgrades. Yes, please. Let's get in. Just chill here. We're just gonna kind of hang out by this sacred site and just kind of focus the, on the conflicts right here. Horseman for a villager, not a terrible trade. Not the worst thing in the world. So one, one, and let's do this. Build another barracks here. And now we should be okay. Yeah, this is a good start, I would say. It's a pretty darn good start. All right, let's get you guys over. Have you go for the deer hunt out here. And uh, we do need to keep making horsemen in case he switches to archers. Oh my god, this, these villagers just can't catch a break today, dude. He's straight up. He's probably going to emerge with a sizable army here soon. All right. Maybe he's just going to go Castle Age. Totally, totally could be a plan. Oh, that's just a scout. I got, like, nervous there for a second. I was like, oh, God, is he, like, back here raiding me and shit? Okay. Got this tower coming up. And we'll build it a little bit closer. Okay, so now we just are back to a regular game plan. Of just basically going to uh, Castle. Yeah, and just uh, cackling that way. Okay, so he's got some archers here. Unfortunate. The wall isn't going to finish. The Great Wall. Uh, let's make some uh, men at arms, actually. That could be kind of cool. And if he only gets one sacred, then that's like, I would call that a win for us. So let's wait for a couple men at arms to come down here before we try and bunker bust this position. Looks like he lost that scout, too. That's nice. We're about to get some upgrades. Let's get the ranged armor upgrade, too. All right, let's fight. So we need to just target his archers. So one, two, and three. While the spearmen do their thing. And I think this fight goes well for us, actually. Yeah, looks good. Definitely looks good. Scholars are on the run. Let's get you guys to target down the archers, because without the archers, my spearmen just kill everything here. All right, let's get the archer. Now he has the dreaded mass scholar healing. Okay, that looks interesting. Let's pull you down here. Finish off the great wall here. Ah, it could be game there. I don't know if he'll tap out, but that's a pretty big loss for him. All right, so it's archer, archer, archer. Look, we don't even have the DPS to kill these scholars. That's how silly, silly the, the Delhi are with that healing they get. Okay, you see that? Just focus all these guys down. Looking pretty good. Delhi's definitely on the run. These scholars are not cheap. They're 75 gold a pop, so... Okay, kill the archers, kill the archers, kill the archers, kill the archers. Meanwhile, we get a tower going. These guys are chilling. Let's go ahead and set up a big wall of doom here. Dude, look at how ridiculous these Delhi scholars are, dude. They're just like absolute middle linebackers. Yeah, I think that's going to be some serious danger for him since we have map control now. Yeah, here comes the men-at-arms, the Duhost. We could get, straight up maybe give him the Duhost. Plus, we're super upgraded, too. We have really good upgrades. I'm sure he does, too, but... And then after this, you guys finish the wall. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go castle here in just a moment. So we're going to keep the pressure on. It's not going to be, like, an all-in, but... You know, I don't want to overextend and just lose somehow, but we're definitely going to go push back here. I mean, that was a that was a righteous beating. The Chad, Delhi, or Men at Arms have done it. So where do we have more food over here? Yeah, we have a food source here. Okay, we are just running dangerously low on wood. All right, so Regnitz is on the way. Let's uh, create a couple prelates. Preemptively start torching a little bit. This will buy some time for our walls. Oh, he actually has it. See, he has a good army still. Okay, we can turn and fight for a second. But overall, yeah, it's not like the prettiest fight in the world. So let's just get back. We have a lot of men at arms. We have castle age. We have map control. Let's not be greedy. All right, let's turn and kill this guy. Turn and kill this guy. And just keep running. Castle age very soon. This, of course, gotta love the wolves on this map. We gotta put some respect on the wolves. Okay, let's see that. Build Regnitz Cathedral. Set it up there, because whatever. It's closer to these relics. And the fire trucks are coming out in numbers. And we can grab a little bit of stone now, too. Let's do that. Some Regnitz stone. 
All right, guys. So phase one of the game is good. You win fast, you might be able to play another. Cody, don't do this to me. I actually should stop that. My hands are a little bit worn out. Thank you, though. I do really appreciate that, brother. We have, like, most of the map walled off, too. Can get you out here. Go grab this. And then we just get the Chad, the Chad Men at Arm Legion and just, like, push his base, ideally. Oh, he's coming for it. Look at that. Okay, so we need to get down there and make sure he doesn't get through here. His army's not that good here. Definitely not that good. Okay. He's trying to get through there. Back you go. Let's get this Friar Chuck to go grab... Um, kill a Scholar there. Get this Relic and then bring it back. Oh my god, what the hell are you doing? Okay, whatever. Just take that one for now. Castle Age, Men at Arms. We're ready for him. We'll meet him here. We got the food. Let's get a tower here just to be safe. Once we get the Castle Age upgrade, our Men at Arms should just massively out trade here. Do we get the Scholar actually? Nice. We might actually get him. We'll see. Okay, Relic. And uh, we need you, buddy, to grab this Relic. A little bit slow on the draw on that one. The big Chad Castle Age Men at Arms, baby. They're going to get some big punches there. Although he's got a little bit of action here. We'll have to see. The armor should really mitigate most of that. Okay. Looks good. Let's get these Men at Arms over here. The Chads are just fighting like linebackers, of course. Okay, he pulls back, obviously, because he's still in the Potato Age. Relic, Relic. Let's go grab this one. Go here. We'll have them all turn in first. Okay, we're going to need to get some like good sustainable food economy, though, soon. Okay, so you're going to go there. You, buddy, are going to go mid. And then we just secure classic HRE tactics. And then we grab this one as well. GG. Yeah, he knows it's over. We got triple relics. We got three sacreds. We have age advantage. GG. All right, guys. Cody. Sorry, I, I got to rest the old hands, man. No worries, my guy. All fun. Thank you, man. This map looks so simple and sad after eight mega randoms. It does. It does for sure. So that's kind of like the well-played allied, man. It was a good scrappy game, man. It was a stressful one. It was a stressful one. Does anyone know when the world champ... Uh, yeah, the world champions for Total War Warhammer are Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Creative Assembly's YouTube channels. Yeah. I'll be casting those. Solo casting this time. No other casters around for Total War Warhammer who wanted to do it. So it's all me, baby. Let's go. Yeah. GG, man. Sigmar blessed this Ravaged game. And uh, cool. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for your support tonight. Big shout out to Gunhound for organizing this. We'll be back with more fun tournaments soon. We'll have some cool King of the Hills, other stuff like that. It's going to be great. So I'm very excited. Um, I think for the first King of the Hill, we're going to do the Lords of Bronzodia. So you have to be ranked uh, bronze. But you can't like have just played like five games and throw on purpose to get into it. You're going to need to actually be like a Lord of Bronzodia. So we'll do that. That'll be really fun. <laughs> Allied <laughs> Peace turn Instantly attacks No GG Allied It was a good game man Warpug Another win for the The Stabby Jesus boys what a, what a win after Catching all these Yeah All day man What a win Catching all these live this month Hey man More good times to come Thank you guys Appreciate it uh, We'll see you on the other side You guys take care of yourselves uh, I'll be back streaming Tomorrow I'm gonna take off On Saturday I have the big world championship Sunday I have the world championship On Total Wars channels I'll be back streaming on my own channel on probably Monday or Tuesday. So that's the game plan. All right, guys. I'm Bronze One. Send me the dude. The Bronze Odias will rise. The legends will be made. It's gonna be. It's gonna be excellent. I'm really excited for it. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves, and we will see you all on the other side. Take care.